Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good morning, evening. Good afternoon, wherever you are. How are you doing? We're uh, we're gonna be doing something a little different tonight. We're gonna be uh, uh, one one of our party members is uh, <coughs> off uh, road tripping, and so uh, we're putting uh, the main story on a hold to do something uh, a little different. Uh, if you can see, I've I've titled the stream of <laughs> hippogriffs and heists because uh, Tweak is a genius and refuses to admit it. <laughs> um, I don't refuse it. <laughs> Uh, also, Matt. I just don't advertise some option. What? Today I have the nuclear option. Oh no! <laughs> it's not wrong, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing. Did you carry nukes with you? I didn't think that's part of like the artifice or subclass. No, I just have eight sticks of dynamite. It's I know, a, but it's a level twenty feature. <laughs> Dude, I'll play an artificer if I get like plutonium at level twenty. <laughs> <laughs> No, stop that. <laughs> All right, Nile, Nile Red, calm down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing some uh, some different characters and uh, you know, getting some uh, <clears throat> getting some shenanigans going because uh, this is all just for uh, just for a bit of fun. <laughs> We'll be back. Uh, it, it shouldn't take more than two streams, but if not, we'll we'll stretch it into a third and, and finish it off rather quick. But yeah, I think I think we I think I've planned for about two streams worth of content. So, and uh, you know, also Saber's here. Also, oh. yes, we have a we have a, one of our other friends joining us for this. Uh, Saber, who's uh, who's going to be well, we'll introduce all the characters. You go. Technical guest appearance. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's you know in the, in the chat a lot when we stream, but yeah, we uh, <laughs> invited him to play with us today, and uh, you know, hopefully everything goes either fantastically or terrible, and either way, it's funny. <clears throat> but I'm just getting my notes up, and then we can start. And I love the different art styles going on here. <laughs> Listen, I, three of the art styles were already different when I first got the thing, so I was like, let's just do circle tokens. We don't need that. Circle. I mean, there was, you promised me flowers. I didn't get any flowers. I, I told you, if, there's fl if there was a flower circle, I would put it on there. There was no flower circle, so you got a, a almost matching red. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> All right, let me. Let me first. Uh, you know, we're going to need some music for the background. That should be. I thought about doing a heist playlist, but it just ended up being almost all copyrighted music, and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, because the, the only song you need for a heist is dun, dun, That's dun, literally dun, what dun, I found dun, 87 dun. different yeah. versions of when I typed heist music. <laughs> Did you find, like, an electro swing version of that? Because I'd be down. <laughs> I mean, you just keep the, the first five seconds of it over and over again, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, there. I mean, the first also... five seconds are all that there is. Oh God! Do I need Another... to? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Do I pull out my guitar and no. play it? <laughs> no, no. Because I know a good one. No, uh, we're. Yeah, I think we're good. Also, as as much as I don't, I don't want to be that person. Uh, Mad's icons half kind of cut off on the screen. On the stream. Oh, I need to I need to lengthen it because I meant that to only fit uh, uh you know the tokens. I mean it's there. it's fine. It's fine if my uh, icon appears no, as the setting sun. Not. <laughs> I'm emotionally disturbed by this. <laughs> Drink it just a little bit. Y'all over here with the fancy multi screens. Mm -hmm. Property. Um, yeah. 
That's well, bad. I mean, Brandon's got the fancy multi-screen I'm playing on a laptop. Oh, same. <clears throat> I, I, let me know when that updates. The, oh. I think uh, it was mostly on. referring to me and my it did, it did. Yep, there it is. It's updated. Yeah. I, I had I had it uh, calculated for the specific amount of pixels to fit everyone in Pancake. So having an additional person uh, pushed it off the screen. For now, we'll have that running. <clears throat> Alrighty. <sighs> I'm going to uh, set this up and then uh, I'm going to call a name and uh, you'll, you'll enter the room. As it were, because uh, you, all, you all don't know what you've gotten into. You've accepted, <laughs> you've accepted the request, uh, you don't know the specifics. You just know that uh, you all have a big opportunity to <clears throat> make a make a solid chunk of change. That's that's what all this is about, right? <laughs> Money, good. Mm -hmm. Also, apparently it snowed outside, and I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> it's April. Welcome 9th. to April, but in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, April in Canada, like the February 2nd of Texas. <laughs> yeah. I, I refuse to believe Texas has no... Or no, I never mind. I'm. Why am I saying... I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I thought you were about to say you don't... Alex, it has snowed Texas. five days in, in in Texas where I live in the past eight years. <laughs> And their entire everything. I understand this. I refuse to believe that Texas is participating in U.S. weather. The same goes for Florida. Yeah. Or in Arizona? Yeah. It are, we already got up to 96 one day this week, so, you know. Yeah, I'm, my brother who lived out in California was complaining about it being 99. Mm. All right. Anyways. Uh, you all, every single one of you, is, is somehow or another related to the <laughs> Gen Shipping Company's underside of business. It's not all illegal. It makes you some good money. It's a lot of mercenary work. However, <clears throat> you've been called in by, uh, Griffin Gan himself to uh, to pull a job. They'll get you a lot of money. Uh, <clears throat> he can't promise nobody will get hurt, but uh, that is uh, your prerogative. Um, let's see. We'll start with. We'll so we'll start with the straight man. Uh, Ivar? Ivar? Ivor? Oh. oh, hello. Okay, yep. It's, yeah, going with the pronunciation of Ivar. Ivar. Yep. <clears throat> uh, okay. What do you need me to do? Well, all, all five of you have, uh, gotten an invitation to, uh, uh, be let into, uh, <clears throat> the Gen Harbor, uh, headquarters and per personally, uh, Meet in his offices. You come up the magical elevator and uh, open the door. What do you uh, What do you look like? Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, striding in rather confidently, since I don't mind doing mercenary work all that much. I am a five, six, seven ish. I put in some nice uh, thick boots. Maybe get to five eight if I'm feeling happy. Uh. Pale skin, dark hair, human male. Uh, lots of disfiguring scars wherever the skin does show underneath the studded leather tunic gauntlets and uh, pauldrons. Beyond that, minus the scars, basic run-of-the-mill human can blend in rather well if people don't mind seeing a bit of a cut-up face. Okay. 
You're the first to arrive. You're you're <laughs> you're used to this sort of work. And, uh, the time window said uh, said 10 a.m. this morning, and you were uh, you were you were there waiting outside by 9:55. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were uh, you're let in and have to wait for the others. All right. I guess I'll lean against the wall and by the door and keep waiting. Certain uh, iron forged uh, makes their way in next. Tweak, would you like to describe your character? Oh. All right. Uh, Skulker is a a brass polished automaton with uh, two burning coals for eyes. That, despite being built quite large, is very light of foot and hunched in on itself um a lot of dark clothes a hood kind of beggar's clothing if um if it wasn't so obvious that he was you know, bright metal in color. <laughs> Definitely has the <clears throat> scruffy appearance to them, but <clears throat> they sort of crouch down uh, a little bit as they enter the door and stand off to the side. <clears throat> Followed quickly by uh, <clears throat> what I would describe as uh, the fair opposite of a uh, this uh this character uh the uh the kobold for this job why don't you uh you uh, enter the room why don't you describe yourself Omar is a uh two and a half foot tall uh brown rust colored kobold with a few brighter red scales going along the crest uh and has piercing green eyes a and uh, has bandages around their chest and a bandolier with a lot of pockets and a couple bullets. Little, a uh, little bit armed to the teeth. But... <clears throat> Some time passes before the fourth arrives. A, from all appearances, another human. Rose, why don't you describe your character? Okay. Uh, Axel is a six foot three um, human male, uh, relatively pale, has very dark um, black hair. He uh, is wearing, for all intents and purposes, a very nice suit with dress, uh, dress shoes. Uh, you can probably assume there's some leather armor underneath, but uh, it definitely doesn't look like it. Um... Yeah, he just strides in confidently. He has a very chiseled face and um, very attractive. <clears throat> Posts up and leans against the desk, resting as a <laughs> resting on it like a seat. And Griff looks at him a little uh, <clears throat> perturbed, but doesn't say anything. He has a job that needs to be. done. <clears throat> As for our fifth player in this heist game, you all are waiting for a while. Uh, well, you know, Matt, why don't you uh, why don't you do your do your intro as you deem deem fit? Mm -hmm. So y'all are waiting for a while. 10 o'clock passes. 10.05. It's 10.10 now. <laughs> and you can see Griff start getting angry. And then from behind you guys, you'll, you hear, Oh, Griffy, you getting angry? <clears throat> the Goliath man 
doesn't make a sound, but you do see his shoulders hitch as a as a jump. <sighs> I hate when you do that. <clears throat> <laughs> and if you look, if you turn around, you see a roughly five four woman with cropped blonde hair, uh, bright green eyes. Uh, elven ears and two large curling horns, albeit sort of chopped off, wearing uh, very worn leather armor and a silver ring. He uh, <clears throat> kind of straightens himself back up, then uh, <clears throat> pulls out some paperwork. In a, in a thick, uh, a thick folder, and sets it down on the table, and leans his hands on it. <sighs> I'm glad you seem to all made it here. <clears throat> and he kind of looks at uh, a couple of the more tattered folk. I'm assuming unharmed and unfollowed. <clears throat> Naturally. Kind of gives a grin. <clears throat> Eva, <clears throat> I've got a uh, proposition for you. Still willing to take it? <clears throat> it is uh, an equivalent amount of danger, as I said, but I couldn't let the uh, information leave if you weren't uh, ready to take it on. Oh, I'm always ready to commit. Ain't gonna. I'm sure you are. <clears throat> now, I can't imagine what you could possibly want with, uh, let's see, a uh, standard, useless, loud metal, and liability. <laughs> can't, can't fathom what you would want with these group. Unless we were on time. You assume I was late. You were. He raises a ten minutes and thirteen <laughs> seconds. Your <laughs> phrase is a hand now. Now no, can fight when this job's done. I need y'all to cooperate. <clears throat> this one's gonna be weird, which is why I uh, elected to get some weird folk from our organization. Affiliated with it at least, and he looks over at Ivar. <laughs> Let me just. And he reaches into this folder and pulls out and unfolds twice a large, uh, <clears throat> not quite a blueprint. It's sort of. It looks like he hired somebody to sketch something from the outside. <clears throat> you see a large manor, almost fortress-like building, uh, and some labels and some, you know, <clears throat> points of egress and, and uh, pot potential ways to exit the, the building. I'm sure uh, all of you have, uh, have heard of a fine woman named Madame Doreen Ganymede. He looks around the room. And uh, <clears throat> anybody who is trained in uh, history can make a history check if they wish. If not, he'll, uh, he'll describe sure. if everyone just looks uh, a little dumbfounded. Uh, does half the <clears throat> proficiency count as trained? What was that? Does half proficiency count as trained? Sure. <laughs> Ten. Oh, whoops. You, Wrong button. Boomer, you've heard the name. You have no clue who they are, though. Uh, they're, uh, you, you, you've heard the name from people talking about higher-ups like in higher society sort of situations, but, yeah, that, that's not the type of person that interests you. Uh, Spruce, you have heard of this person. They're, uh... <laughs> They have a little bit of a shady back, like, 
background, uh, a, a older woman in her early 60s that uh, suddenly arose after, uh, after the reconvergence uh, uh, with a substantial uh, sum of coin and began buying up different artifacts and, you know, hiring mercenaries to go out into places in the world and bring back things that uh, she deemed <clears throat> uh, too important to stay lost. Uh, she is... No one really knows what happened to her. All that all they know is that uh, she uh, <clears throat> has a number of manners in the Van Dash Isles. Uh, one in Adeloth, and never stays in one place for too long. But she sort of does a circuit around the world throughout the year. And uh, you would know with that role. Uh, that while she was in uh, while she was in Drakenkron, she uh, <clears throat> did uh, did have a uh, a little bit of a uh, a lucky spot, you would say. Uh, for some reason, she uh, she went to a very high end auction in Eldervane and uh, cleaned the house. She won pretty much every item. It seemed like people were afraid to bet against her. And people, some, some people suspect foul play in the purchases as she bought everything pretty much under what it was the asking price for or at it. Uh, and then brought these items back to her estate and uh, <clears throat> at every single party has been boasting them. Uh, sometimes wearing things that she won to parties and galas. Been the talk of the town, but not in, uh, <clears throat> not in any way that's, uh, useful or helpful. Just sort of obnoxious. But... Oh, what do you, what, what are we, uh, taking from this here Dowager Collector? He smiles and goes. <clears throat> he pulls out a small sealed envelope. And he looks around. You know what? <clears throat> Spruce, hold on to this. Don't open it yet. <clears throat> if y'all are successful, while you are standing in the vault, open that. If you are not successful, tear it. It should deal with itself. Sure. You want corn not and burn. I will, I will. It, it'll deal with itself. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it in my, uh, in my, uh, satchel on my side. Mark down that you have, uh, <clears throat> you have the marked objects list. <clears throat> Got it. How are you certain everything is in the same room? I'm not certain, but uh, knowing If Ganymede, we open the list to see what is on there and we can not find the item afterwards, we have then failed. What then? You'll get paid all the same. I trust, I, I trust you all will figure it out. What if we grab more? I mean, if anything else was to also disappear during that heist, uh, it's not on my list. Uh, you can keep it for yourself of all I care, as long as it doesn't remain in uh, Ganymede's possession. Fair enough. But the items uh, that she has <clears throat> absconded with uh, were items that uh, our organization were trying to uh, trying to purchase fair and square. <clears throat> And uh, uh, most, if not all, of my agents uh, suddenly disappeared and were not able to attend that auction. I found one of them uh, 
his head fully removed and uh, hanging from the gutters just a few miles away in Eldervain from the auction. So. Perhaps he's got too drunk and lost his head on the way. I would hope so, but Ganymede has stopped, stepped in our way a few too many times. So, <clears throat> we are taking payment. <laughs> she won't be home. She's unfortunately in another <clears throat> residence as of now, and we're not sure which one. But... How long? Probably till next year, and I don't want to wait that long. She is... If we pull this off and it changes her tune, we won't have to deal with more drastic measures, but you all won't be involved in that. <clears throat> that'll be that'll be a little bit more of a, a wet work job. And he gives a grimace. <clears throat> you can see his uh, giant Goliath half grin uh, shows through, and these uh, you have his gold capped teeth uh, catch the light. Been in a thorn on our side for a bit, and uh, <clears throat> we just uh, <clears throat> want to send a message, even if I have to throw these things into the ocean so neither of us have them. <clears throat> so, we have set up for you a a way to get uh, onto the roofs of the manor unannounced. However, from there, the <clears throat> building is a mystery. It seems to be protected by a few different magical effects. So, communicating outside of the building once you are in and on the roof will be unfortunately impossible. <clears throat> teleporting out also doesn't seem to uh, be available so you will be cut off once you enter <clears throat> you'll have to make your way through I'm assuming several magical rooms figure out how to get into the vault whether it's just a simple lock I'm sure a few of you can pick that but if it's something more complicated you'll have to figure it out once you're inside we have repaired and prepared you for uh, everything you need. So, choose, so if you choose to accept this mission, you will be uh, <clears throat> armed to the gills. You all accept these terms. <clears throat> I got nothing better to do. <laughs> of course, Master Griff. So, I think it'll be fun. I can't imagine why you would have invited us if you didn't think we were going to say no. You know, consent is important. I, uh... He... <clears throat> he looks around and goes, Do you have anything that you need to request? Do so now. Uh, start tonight. Once you're inside, you're on your own. If you get caught, can't help you. <clears throat> but I will say lean towards non-aggression as uh, <clears throat> she has deals with the city, so you'll be have city guard on your back as well if uh, <clears throat> things go loud and she looks over at Boomer. <clears throat> ah. Use explosives quietly. I've heard you've pulled off a few interesting stunts before, so... I trust you will do this as discreet as possible. But... If you need to go buck wild, then that's a thing that you absolutely need to do. <clears throat> um... Leave none standing. But don't set the city on fire. I deal, I deal with explosions. 
Big difference. Yeah, <clears throat> he rubs his forearms, <laughs> like the muscles in his forearms, like he's uh, <clears throat> trying to remain uh, calm and, and composed. He's... Yep. <clears throat> now, why don't you introduce each other to each other and what you're good at? That should help uh, narrow down any confusion in the uh, event two people are good at the same thing. A fine idea. I shall go first. My name is Falcon. <coughs> I can get anywhere. Uh, elaborate on that. Breaking entering, cat burglary, acrobatics. What does that mean? All methods are the same. I can get anywhere. Skulker right. here is an uh, interesting one. They're, uh, <clears throat> I would say very proficient in stealth, <clears throat> but they're curious. So they might, uh, they might have some, a little bit more in store. Give him a chance to go. I think it'll be great. He smiles and... Yes, Mr. Black, it was uh, <clears throat> interesting to receive your acceptance of this. I uh, didn't think you were associated with any of it, but it's uh, a great honor to have you... Uh, <clears throat> attend to this uh little party of course i uh i like to do things on the side not necessarily for money but for fun for thrill uh, i expect nothing less from you he'd give a big tease. and that's why i called you useless he'd give her a big uh, <laughs> i would agree very untrustworthy methods what exactly do you specialize in? I'm a druid. So, uh, I can wild shape and, um, pretend that I'm things that, uh, well, I'm not, and, uh, I have a very, uh, interesting career. Okay, so you're an actor. Got it. Sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't Ralph? think uh, I don't think anyone here actually <clears throat> for entirely different reasons. Ivar, can you make me uh what would this be? I'm gonna say an insight check. Right to you. It's not it's not really history. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <quite. laughs> Uh, what is it? It's like a plus two spell. You've you've looked into Mr. Black for di entirely different reasons. Gotcha. <laughs> They're on the up and up, but they have some interesting talent. Um, I'll I'll leave it at that. But you do know what. Axel Black is. Um, gotcha. They seem to think they're, uh, and they're not tied to any, uh, evil cults or, uh, monsters hitting in plain sight, but uh, definitely why you found, found them in the first place. So, looking up cults and monsters in disguise and that's something i stumbled across yeah <clears throat> they were they were a, a point of interest to uh to be a uh not beloved is not the word <laughs> <laughs> member of society notable uh, notable member of society. beloved in some circles yeah <laughs> all right i guess i'll keep that to myself for the meantime <laughs> Actor's a good, uh, a good description.
fact, in the Byzantine uh, in the Byzantine era, uh, actor mean meant exactly that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my joke was more appropriate than I realized. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right. Well, hello, useless. Uh, I'm Spruce. Spruce Spring Green. I'm good at people in sneaking. Stealing, looking for stuff. Been pretty successful at that, really. <laughs> Griff, can I? Oh. Oh, continue. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Griff just pipes up, you know. <clears throat> yeah, this one's a, a rather good all rounder, unfortunately for me, in the past, but. I'm glad that uh, they've accepted to uh, to work with me. Well, I mean, you were one of only like four people in history who've caught me. <laughs> Can't pass that up now, can I? You know, throws his hands up a little bit. Just got lucky. You've Honestly. been caught four times. Out of roughly 332. I've, I've never been caught. Well, how long have you been around? He thinks. I don't know. I just do. Well, I'm going to doubt that uh, you've been around longer than 300 years. That is Drugs. some time. Yeah, and when you got that much time. time then. Oh, no, it won't be. What about you, Kobold? Oh, right. Uh, Boomer, uh, explosives. That's, uh, that's very true. I can make this shit magic. Yeah? Explosives. Yeah. And that's liability. We should discuss later. I might have plans for us. <laughs> I like you already. You? At the... Call everyone stupid? Not so much. Assuming you have steady hands, then. Steady hands and a lot of good timing. Well, which is why I don't like people being late. I wasn't late. I was here the whole time. Regardless of your arrival, if you delay the meeting, you are late. He has a point. All right. Yeah. Just to keep things moving forward, I suppose. I guess that leaves me for muscle, fighting, and having to deal with anything that gets messy. I mean, a I call right, right, Mr. Mr. Muscle fighting and dealing with anything that gets messy. What's your name? Ivar. Don't need to worry about too much else. Fair enough. And, my shiny new friend, I'm more so going to be the contingency in case something does go accidentally wrong. It won't. I really do hope so. Wait. Is that all there was to discuss? <clears throat> he looks around. Any questions? Everything seems relatively clear. Will anything be difficult to transport? Yes. No. A bag of holding <laughs> might be in order, otherwise. He, he smiles. Oh, yeah. he, he smiles. He's like, uh... I was going to provide one, but uh, <clears throat> our friend here is a, a little bit of a magical tinkerer and uh, solved that issue for me. So. Most of the bags on my bandolier. 
Our bags are holding. Wonderful. I do have to ask, how are we getting on the roof? He <clears throat> pulls another sheet of paper out, like a, like a thin, uh, like uh, almost like a rice paper, and places it over the sketch of the outside of the building's walls. <clears throat> and he it extends uh, southward, he goes, there's a building across this road here, twice as tall as the estate. Uh, we set up a little, uh, best way to describe it is a zip line. <clears throat> it's, uh, invisible, but, uh, if you're standing at the right angle, it's, uh, you can see it, so... Don't panic once it disappears, once you're outside of the little bubble. But once you land on the roof, it's all we can do for you. Will the line remain after we use it? It will. It'd probably be pretty hard to scale, but it's certainly an available option of egress. A possible option, for sure. But, don't let it be your only, uh, keeping. Uh, plenty of windows in the manor. There's, uh, supposedly a few secret e exits. You weren't exactly able to find them. She's pretty secretive. But, <clears throat> all in all, Don't worry, we can be creative. Oh, I, uh, I'm not worried about that. I'm hopeful for this group's strange set of skills to be, uh, good at, uh, <laughs> making this whole thing work. I got one question if you got the time. Sure. Are we dealing with more than just the city guard? Does she have any kind of mercs on retainer on the inside? She has her own, her own guards, uh, work for her. But they don't report to the city guards. They'll try to deal with it quietly at first, but I will not hesitate if they think uh, your force is uh, of an overwhelming variety. Anyone in particular of note that she has on retainer? Uh, that would be Captain Stronaga Nice. Mountain of a man, Earth Genasi. That sounds like for. <laughs> if worst comes to worst, I'd probably use a stick of dynamite or two against him. But, uh. I forgot he's... Rank. He's slow, but if he corners you, you're in for a fight. And what did you say his name was? Captain Stronaga Nice. I get the feeling he's not that nice. <laughs> like do the stone. A... <laughs> do you have a general estimate of the number? Yes. <sighs> From reconnaissance, I'm going to say a minimum of 20 throughout the compound, mostly in the courtyard. Um, but we have seen If them we can from... do some reconnaissance, we might be able to determine how many are inside the house then, based on who patrols outside. I'd make the argument that we at least double that number to 40 until we have a more solid idea. The the main areas you'll be most up against actual patrols will be uh, the as far as we were able to get any information from ex guards uh, are the courtyard which is where you'll be entering the easiest way into the estate it's a surrounded sort of garden area where the Four roofs around it uh, have a 
entrance to the building and you don't have to deal with the guards on the outside. The other room that you'll have trouble with guards for the most part would be uh, the exhibition room. It's sort of like a miniature museum of, uh, of things that uh, the madam has uh, deemed worthy of display. Books. Here there's a skeleton of a giant monster. Some sort of <clears throat> stuffed topaz dragon. Uh, little bits and bobs and ends and tiaras and things like that on and glass cases, that sort of thing. From our intel, the back of that room, behind the bookshelves. No, you can't just remove the bookshelves. You'll have to find a lever and fly five black keys hidden within the compound. And uh, that should get you entrance to the vault. I don't know if they can be picked, but absolutely you need to find the lever first. Would it not stand to reason for the keys to be on someone's person? Or five persons' person? As far as any information we've received, they're hidden behind things that only the madam would be able to complete. Uh, memory puzzles, uh, tests of courage, that sort of thing. She's uh, leaned a little too hard onto the magic, and uh, <clears throat> those areas actually don't have any guards in them, from what we've been told. Rather confident in that protection, then. Yes, which is why we wanted to do this while she was gone, and also while her guard is active. Because if you can get out with the things, with her guard still patrolling, uh, well, <laughs> I think that'll send just just enough of a message that we're done dealing with her uh, <clears throat> sour business proposals. I can understand that. Or just straight up murdering everyone is off the floor. It's it's not off the floor if you think it's really uh, necessary. Um, if you do that, I'd recommend making sure they're all in making sure they're all down double tap sort of situation no uh, no survivors if you're gonna go that way because if not she is uh, she's not gonna leave you alone for a long time if she finds any evidence of and pinned it to you Makes sense. Or Ideally, we don't have to go loud, though. That's uh, not really what I do. So, was it telling everyone meant going loud? If all questions are at their end, can we visit the roof? He nods. <clears throat> Take the day, relax, we'll meet, and he, he points to the building. We'll meet tonight, just at sundown. Sound good to everybody? Sounds good. Seems reasonable. Can't wait. Camera pans out the window. The sun. I will rest until then. <laughs> Eyes dim. <laughs> you just stand in a corner's office. <laughs> I always forget they can do that. Sun fast forwards through the sky, and the sky shifts to shades of purple and blue, edged with orange. 
You all are uh, meeting up at the uh, the the roof of the uh, Griff went with you. He is uh, a <clears throat> he's wearing a uh, he he puts on a top hat just before you leave, and uh, as he walks out of the building, becomes a uh, <clears throat> a dainty little elf man uh, with uh, some like. Painter's garb and a little bag that has uh, paint brushes and an easel. And... <clears throat> Follow me and uh, meet up there. And he's setting up an easel. Explains uh, <clears throat> to you. Stand in that spot over there with the little rock. And there's like a single rock up on this uh, four story uh, terrace area. You can, uh, you'll be able to see the line and the handles up to this thing, and you can see, if you uh, walk over there, there's a set of these, like, <clears throat> strange silver bars with a clasp in the middle, uh, and there's a, there's a pile of about ten of them. Just grab one and slide down whenever you're ready. I'd probably wait until the sun fully sets, though. You said this story, this building was four stories, so the yeah. other's two. <clears throat> yeah, the this one's four stories. The building across the way is two, so fairly What's good the angle between down. Them? Um, forty fifty feet from your calculations. Okay. So you can you can see a little bit into the courtyard. Um, there's some sort of like. Stone gazebo with a, uh, either a gold or a bronze like capstone in the center of it takes up the majority of the uh, <clears throat> of the way over there. You can see some hedges popping up over, like at the at the backside a little bit. For the most part, this angle even still doesn't uh, doesn't grant much information. Uh. Does the zip line go over the gazebo? The zip line goes to the roof on the other side. It does not reach all the way. To the okay. Yeah. Howdy. So, is there a map to... of this place, or is it just? I'll, I'll place the map once you all decide to scale okay. across on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> once you're committed. Yeah, let's. So do you want a subject matter for that pain, or he's going to chill here for a bit longer? He is. I'm just observing. Uh, if anyone comes up, I will uh, be able to shoo them away, because I'm a very uh, <coughs> opinionated artist trying to paint the sunset. I'll be here. What will your excuse be once the sun sets? Yes. I've got light. I'm, I'm committing it to memory. Well, I appreciate I that. Make the recommendation, since I'm sure none of us can be seen right now. Would my kind painter be willing to go look at the far building and see if there's anyone on the roof we're about to land on? Well, you you can see it from where you are. Oh, we can. Right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> in that case, in that case, I'll just look. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah you see if you look. Kind of movement there. You, you you look out to the the building below you across the uh, the pathway or the uh, the zip line and uh, it does not seem to be anybody on the roof. Uh, every now and then you can see movement inside this little indented uh, garden. Uh, think like um like a Roman garden where the building is built around a bigger building. It's like just in the center. There's just a chop block square that uh, that sinks down into the building. And seems Almost to be like a, a landing point. Yeah, you can see these <clears throat> almost dragon scale like terracotta, green terracotta uh, tiles that sit on this roof. But no one seems to be on or even really walking around the building. Um, it seems pretty quiet. There's two guards uh, by what looks like a uh, an entrance or an exit. Uh, you're not certain, but that's far to the left side 
and uh, uh, they don't, they would, wouldn't have a view of you once, uh, once the sun set. Not much, much light after the sun sets. Assuming we get up here with like more than an hour to spare. Yeah. Um, from beneath my clothes, like center of my chest, a mm -hmm. dim red light will uh pulse briefly as my eyes adjust to the darkness as I spend two key points to cast dark vision on myself. Okay. And then I short rest for okay. my key points back. <laughs> All right. Oh, Actually. Awful. Can everyone present see in the dark? Yeah. Not particularly, but I can when we need to. I'll do better in the dark. Sunlight. Don't worry me... about your expenditures. I will reach over and also cast Dark Vision on Ivar. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a bit weird, but thank you. Oh, I Duration should eight hours, so we should be fine. Nice. I should Thank note you. something, uh, just so you don't have a bit of a uh, conniption when we get in there. And uh, you'd hear telepathically in your mind, this is something I can do. It might be helpful. Yeah. You'd hear telepathically in oh, your mind. Brain. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, Skulker. <laughs> Ram boats? What was that? Are you wearing boats? I have sandals on. Wanna see him for a second? Of course. Are they magical? First off. No. Alright. And I'm going to use uh one of the The only thing magical is this. I tap on my forearm and sort of embedded into my arm is a strange flute like a device. Cool. I'm not gonna mess with that. But uh I'm gonna take your sandals and I guess you can travel anywhere you were in the last 16 seconds. Within 15 feet. Uh, so basically, you now have... That is path. incredibly specific. <laughs> uh, I will... What are they, like, blink back boots or something? Uh, basically, uh, you while wearing these boots, a creature can teleport up to 15 feet as a bonus action to an unoccupied space that creature can see. The creature Move must your mouth closer to your mic. Oh, into the mic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. While wearing these boots, a creature can teleport up to 15 feet as a bonus action to an unoccupied space that the, the creature can see. The creature must also have occupied that space at some point during the current turn. Is it a bonus action? Yes. Um, as you explain what you're going to do as you reach for my sandals, I will reach out a hand and forcefully push you back. There is no <laughs> need. Don't expend this. Use it on someone else. And uh, if it's sunset, if we're in dim light, I will shift and appear out of your shadow behind you. I can do so already. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm a shadow monk. I can uh, teleport 60 feet bonus action every turn, so long as I am dim light or darkness. Your character scares the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you also, this. while this is... You watch the biggest character literally just like <clears throat> become incorporeal and then is all solid again behind you. Oh god, it's like Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, while this happens, uh, Axel's gonna take a cloak out that he uh, he folded very nicely in his pack, and he's just gonna put it on. <clears throat> Would you like to uh, describe or embellish what this uh, what this cloak looks like? Ah. Uh... I don't do I want to go unassuming with it or do I want to go like I'll go unassuming with it. It's just a billowing black cloak. Uh a little puffy. It's got some fur trim on the edges. Um you can assume it's magical, but you don't know. Is it uh is it high colored for whatever reason? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, but the uh, sun sets. Everyone can prepare, has prepared as much as they are. Uh, Ivar, 
Mm. Is your armor magical? Sorry? Is your armor magical? The armor? No. Doesn't need to be, does it? Wanna have a boost or something against a specific thing? Uh, I guess it can't hurt. Okay, so for resistant armor... Oh, into the mic. <laughs> Resist armor. While wearing this armor, a creature has resistance to one of the following damage types, which you choose when you infuse the item. Acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, poison, psychic, radiant, or thunder. Okay. What do you want? Uh, not really sure which one's going to be the most useful here, but let's go with fire. If most of the traps are magical in nature, I imagine fire will be the most common. Fire or acid? It's always one of those two. No, I'll go with fire then. All right, and now you have <laughs> resistance to fire while wearing that armor. All right. You watch as a small rune gets burned into the armor, and it sort of spreads and then fades away and, and uh, stops glowing. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Got one more. I can use. <laughs> uh, um... Uh, while well, well, you, you're handing out enchantments, Spruce is just sitting on the edge of the roof playing the panpipes. <laughs> uh, you're not counting me, are you? Because if not, no. you can give those boots to someone else. No, I, I basically decided, alright, I'm gonna say, or I'm gonna just off the bat, or off, right off the bat say I've set uh, something as a bag of holding. Okay. We that. We don't what else can you do? Item just been replicated uh yeah does anyone uh use uh an ammunition weapon nope i've got a hand crossbow don't use an two ones granted uh does anyone have a weapon that they throw uh spruce uh just still playing with one hand uh raises her hand with a dagger in it. Dogs, I would also I take prefer out a not dagger. to use them. <laughs> All right. well. Using weapons is it against what I do. Is it off magical already? Mm -hmm. The kobold just speak magical? up a little bit. Is the dagger no. magical? Right. No, it's not. Let me see it for a second. All right, she just hands it to, to you, uh handle out so that you grab the handle and not the blade. <laughs> you see it glow for a second, and now it is a returning weapon. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this magic weapon grants a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with it, and it returns to the wielder's hand immediately after it, used, it is used to make a ranged attack. Oh, gosh. Yes, please. That's amazing. Ooh, you are just a Full of adorable little inventions, aren't you? Well, did get kicked out of, uh... Where it went? Which one was it? Uh... Need the smaller map. Got it. He's like, let me look at my alma mater. <laughs> <laughs> I did get kicked out of, uh, Eldervane... Academy. Unfortunate. I really they were not for the, uh, the things I could do. Well, it seems to me like you're better oh, you off. Got kicked out of, you got kicked out of places too? I got kicked out of two kingdoms. Wow. I think Pancake is dead. Oh, pancake died oh, a while no, ago. Not, not pancake. No. Oh no. <laughs> I'm back. Pancake. Great death. Great death noise for pancake. Wee 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 wee. Well, well. well, I guess while uh, Boomer's handing out a whole bunch of magical items, I'm going to take a bottle from my belt and quaff it quietly. Well, hopefully no one's bothering me too much. Yeah. Also, is Griff actually painting? Yeah. Um, Axel's gonna go over and correct his work. <laughs> uh, you go over to look at it, and it's really good. 
Shit. <laughs> he, uh, he is starting with a like a base layer um with oil paints he's starting with like the background and building the city and he seems to actually be painting from memory because he can no longer see the city below him as the sun is set <clears throat> i never took you as an artist you, you have to diversify <clears throat> i've probably sold a a hundred or so of my paintings and pretended they were somebody else's throughout the years. You have a mark so I can look at the next auction? Yes. I'm, I, I'm actually holding a, uh, an art gala in two weeks if you want to go. That's my, uh, my actual work, not my uh, <clears throat> copy stuff. Oh, uh, I'll see if I can swing by. <laughs> It'd be an honor. He'd, uh, he'd bow his head. The elf personas uh, turn, like, had just slightly turn their head but continued paint. <laughs> they kind of give a small grin and continue. God, apparently the accent I'm using is uh, too strong for the mic to uh, register as words. <laughs> it, it's it comes, a little bit at the end. Yeah, it comes through clear and then it like fades away. <laughs> yeah, it's like petering off at the end. Try to talk more to the mic. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Stitch. <laughs> That's Omar. <laughs> I wasn't saying nothing in in <laughs> character. It's <so>. boom. <laughs> All right, y'all. We ready to roll? Looks about uh, right to me. Most have explosives that they want to hand over. Uh, no, because <laughs> usually you don't bring explosives <laughs> on a heist. Regrettably, I have to agree with her, but uh, I'm interested. Griffkas, you already have the ones I got you. Should be plenty. I'll have to take down a wing of this building. Oh. Oh. Uh. See how much I use up of it before we need to have an exit strategy. I really only have to bring myself for this. Boomer. Oh. Could you not cast returning a uh, weapon to that TNT you have? Why would I want the TNT to come back to me? Just to mess with people. You know? I never thought about that. Usually I want to be as far away from the explosion as I can get. Because, uh... That shit's loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming you know how to put it out. Before it goes off. I mean, if you stop the fuse, stop the explosion. So what you're telling me is you can clear a room with a big bang without making a big bang? Yeah. <laughs> that could work. I mean, it's certainly a theory. But, due to the fact that it is a theory, I'm going to put a door between me and me if you try it. Probably a wise idea. That's fair. Alright, y'all ready to cross? Yeah. Looks dark enough to me. Yep. Uh, Spruce is going to stand up, tuck in her pan pipes into their little holster, and make sure that her uh, cloak is fastened very tightly around her her uh, waist so that it does not flutter. Alright. <laughs> Pull it in, tie it. There's a pile of uh, <clears throat> bars with clasps that seem to fit over this rope uh, pretty well. Uh, have these little uh, roller bar <clears throat> on the center sort of make up so that they don't make too much noise when they slide down. Um, yeah. When you're yes. ready. 
I guess I'll go I'll first. I'll take one. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right. So grab one, hook it on, check it steady, and then just go. Yep. All right. Clasps on. It's it's taut. It doesn't it doesn't give when you put your weight on it, and you slide across. Are let down gently on the uh, in inside slope of the uh, of the roof. Assuming right. everyone else is following suit. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Slide across silently. Take everybody to the map of the courtyard. Map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. So I'm trying to type notes and my finger's not working, so it's just like... Oh, no. I, oh, dear. I have been as well, so I can send you whatever I have. Oh, yeah, I was like, every other letter's... Like, not every other letter, but some of the letters are going on, and I'm like, no. <laughs> so you all are out. Uh, using this map as direction, you are on the roof that is outside of the frame at the south of this area. I have uh, included on the left and right side. Basically, that, that overhang goes around the whole inside. That is the roof that looks down mm -hmm. into this little courtyard here. Uh, there's this massive mm -hmm. gazebo that uh, stands at the, at the peak to about 30 feet. Um, and uh, has this huge, uh, like, like six seven foot thick pillars to cover the center of it so and i have i have placed uh not actual tokens but uh, on the map itself uh guards um <clears throat> uh so how this will work how these areas will work is the other uh, area works the same way uh you all can take your time and plot uh, basically how these these guards go with like solid perception checks. If not, you have to just stealth your way across and hope that uh, you don't walk anywhere that, uh, that the guards seem to uh, go. Uh, failing checks will change how their routes work. Um, I have a little bit of a uh, uh, some stuff hidden behind the screen to uh, allow me, but yeah. A solid perception check and then a solid stealth will let you move through this area un unabated, but a failure at either could lead to uh, you getting potentially spotted. Uh, these are all group... Uh, the stealth is all group-based checks, so a failure here and there won't cause them to be alerted to you, but if, like... Say everybody roll, or like three people roll a one or something. You might have a combat Shit. here. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. All right. So, <clears throat> but they don't seem to be looking up. Um, you can't see them all. They, they, it does fade to darkness. Um, there are some points of torchlight in this area. Um. But yeah, if uh, you want to scout out, I'll need a perception check from at most two people. Uh, uh, I'll and, scout. Uh, and if not, uh, I need a stealth check. Um, I'm also going to scout. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't have uh, a <laughs> car. <clears throat> wow. With a plus seven. Oof. 15? <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Um, you you do spot the three guards that are on this side. Uh, everything outside of that range you can't see yet. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they seem to be just following the the pathways. Every now and then, this one here dips inside this area, but he tra seems to travel around it a couple times before. Mm. Do you mind if I draw on the map? Is that a... Uh... Yeah, no, go for it. Okay. And well, the... like, does he just go around the cube, or is he, like... Yeah, these these does... two are just walking around this, like, stone 
uh, paver, like, walkway area. Like this? Yes. <clears throat> okay. And this one, every now and then, just dips into about here, and then, yeah, comes back. To make sure that, uh, the garden is not, uh... <clears throat> and he goes deep in the garden, right there. He, he goes. To, he goes to about the table. Looks around. To about the table. Okay. Yeah. Roughly, uh, how high are those hedges? Uh, these hedges are all about eight feet. Hmm. They will. Uh, they will fully cut off pretty much everybody's. Everybody's view of you. <laughs> So, all right, which way are we uh, going? And uh, these uh, I have marked for my and your convenience. Uh, you don't you don't know where they go, but these are all uh, rooms and directions Doors. you need to go into. <laughs> okay. Oh, the uh, being the one, two, three, and four. Yeah, one, two, three, and mm -hmm. four. Because <laughs> uh, once you enter that room, uh, you don't have to deal with the guards. You'll just head into. Uh, Head into the puzzle, but if you have troubles, <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> so we can, so we know there's three at least in here right now, which is a lot less than uh. Oh, do we see how many guards are on the outside of the building? Uh, you only saw two from this side, because this is okay. the <clears throat> this is the back side of the building. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So, there seemed to be some sort of exit out the back side of the building, but it was one and there was just two guards by it. Um, but yeah, there's like a uh, a large gated uh, like front driveway sort of um, area, like a, like a large U that's meant to park cart uh, like carts and wagons and, and visiting folks. Um, and that's all on the front side of the building, and this is the this is the back. Why it was chosen this way. <laughs> Understood. Well, right now it looks like we gotta deal with either two or one, or we start whittling down numbers. Yeah. I'd say let's go to the one we're closest to first. I was gonna say it's best to have what our appetite with uh, something a little bit easier. It should be rather trivial to time. A moment to jump down into the room. The question is whether or not it would be locked. Someone checks. Either try and pick the lock or uh, find a way to get rid of the lock. Is anyone especially skilled in picking locks? I'll just pat a, le a small leather case by my side, which contains my thieves tools. <laughs> I can get your lock picked. All right. In that case, I'd say recommendation is send Spruce first, get the door opened, followed shortly by Skulker. And then at that point, probably Axel, Boomer, and then myself. That way I can jump down the guy if he happens to see one of you at that point. Any issue? No. That sounds like a good plan. Wouldn't we want to send yeah. Skulker in first to check to make sure to see if the lock is, or if the door is even locked? I think it's probably a safe assumption. I'm, uh, I'm Rather very not good at waste running the time with me jumping down and having to climb back up. I'm very good at running distraction, uh, given if we're in a bad situation. Not I can also create right. minor distractions, and I, as I hold my hand out, an illusory bird appears in it, hops around. And then disappears. I'm gonna go. Uh, when, whenever like the courtyard like is clear of guards, like they've turned to face away, I'm gonna s silently drop down and go to the, go to door number one. Okay, make a stealth check. All right, that's a plus nine. 
Oh. Oof. I'll, uh, while Spruce is making this check, I'm going to keep my eye on the other two guards at the, uh, the garden. Okay. Uh, wait. I, I am, I am barred, so. Uh. Bard powers activate. <laughs> yep, bard powers activate. I'm just going to be like, ah, come on. And then I'm going to, I'm going to add my D8 to that 12. Because that was terrible. <laughs> When did you inspire yourself? A uh, bonus action? No, like... Oh yeah, you can inspire... Where am I thinking of? At level 5. So. At level 5? Okay. Yes. Yeah, there's like a th something later where you can just do it as part of an action. Um, yeah. But like... Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Uh, I just read something that might be useful going forward mm -hmm. uh i have tool expertise which is your proficiency is your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check that you that uses your proficiency with a tool yeah and i've got uh, hey. alchemical tools thieves tools tinkerers tools and woodcarver's tools oh, nice and yeah. i have a plus six to sleight of hand well, yeah. plus nine yeah plus nine yeah yeah, you, uh, I just realized uh, this. Uh, Spruce, you uh, hop down in between their their movements. Uh, your feet tap gently against the ground from the small drop. The, the fairly, you you when hanging yourself down, it's still probably like an eight foot drop, so it's not it's not the smallest, but. Uh, plop down the large set of double doors. Alright, let's get thinking. Uh, first of all, very quietly turn the knob. Is it locked? Gonna pull the knob. Uh, no, it's not locked. Hmm. hmm. Is it trapped? Well, I don't know. You've already turned the knob, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yep, that's too late then. <laughs> you know what? I I'm going to commit at this point. Okay. Yeah, the, the door, you push it down and it opens gently without making it, uh, much noise inward. Okay. Looking in at the threshold, is there anything that would suggest that I'm going to get destroyed if I cross this border? Make an investigation check. Alrighty, that's a plus eight. Guard is coming around the corner. Ah, uh, fast. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, you don't see any runes or any carvings or anything that uh, denotes any magical, uh, <coughs> magical entrapment. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip into the into the room and close the door as quickly and quietly as I can before okay. the guard sees me. <laughs> slide in. You all, yeah, you all, you all watch her slip in before the guard sees her. Uh, however, you all uh, need to get in there as well before the, uh, the challenge can commence. <laughs> all right, so not locked. Not locked. Seemingly not trapped. We'll find out. All right, next up. If you all want to uh, make stealth checks to do the same. Uh, you don't have to uh, actually time it out. The stealth check is your sort of timing and being quiet at the same time. I'll I'll hang back with Ivan in case shit goes bad, and I can turn into like a squirrel or something. Okay. That'd be Ivar. Uh, okay. Ivar. I'm while while uh, people are uh, sneaking themselves to the door, can I, from the other side of the door, make sure that there is not a trap mechanism? Uh, with your check, yeah, absolutely. But they don't know that, so. Uh, <laughs> there, there doesn't okay. seem to be any traps. It, it opens up to a long hallway with like um, six doors on each side. And okay. You see at the end of the hallway a large circular um, 
large circular room where you can see two statues. So it's six doors on each side, or three doors on each side? Six doors on each side. Okay. It's a pretty long hallway. There seems to be some sort of, if not guest quarters, maybe... Um, The, the the helps quarters. Um. Servant swing. Yeah. Servant quarters. Right. So if the uh, if uh, Boomer and Skulker are ready, they can uh, make stealth checks unless they're doing anything else different. I think I can bypass this check just in case I roll low. So if Boomer goes first, as soon as Boomer opens the door ready to get in, I'm just going to hop off the roof and then before I hit Zoom the ground, in. teleport. Yeah. Yeah. Marsh, All right. You're, you're relying on me to make a, stealth, a good stealth check. So no, I'm go. relying oh. on you to get to the door. If you fail before then, I'm still on the roof, man. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Go, Boomer. So you uh, <clears throat> drop down. Your equipment clanks a little bit. You know the door's unlocked. You can easily just uh, open the door and go in. And in that time, I hop off, mid-fall, bonus action, teleport. Arriving behind Boomer. <laughs> yeah, Boomer, you, you, you enter the room uh, with uh, with Spruce standing there by the door, and all of a sudden, the two coal points of light appear from the shadow as he recoalesces. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> I see you made it. All right, Axel, you're up. Only two left. All right, so they didn't fuck it up too bad. Uh, yeah. He's going to uh, put his cloak on and do the thing that uh, <sighs> fucking classic Dracula vampires do and just go, you know, like, you put it up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Over, yeah, over your forearm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get advantage. Okay. Yeah. You, uh... <clears throat> drop down with a small puff of uh, cold air as the cloak sort of catches you a little bit and you uh, rush inside door number one alright I guess with a a grunt of disdain for what I just witnessed <laughs> that's why I did it I will <laughs> time my time and uh, go get inside myself. All right. Yeah, easily enough. <laughs> even with armor on the you. The highest self. Yeah. E even with armor on you, just uh, <laughs> land down without an issue. You tuck your arm up a little bit to keep your uh, your blade from clanking anything, and uh, land hero pose and just stroll through the door. Uh, my old tremble about my poor knees. Yeah. <laughs> you've, been, you've been doing this a long time. Uh, the aesthetic of it never changes. <laughs> no. And I guess I'll hold the handle, shut the door all the way, and then slowly let the handle click into place. Yep. Five of you inside uh, room number one. Continue. <laughs> We should. Well, the, uh, we managed to not die horribly in the first five minutes. Yeah. We did not, yeah. That's the first 33 oh. minutes, but you know. Pat Boomer gently on the back and be you know, like, it's an hour of time for us to still die. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that out of character. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. My brain is yeah, he was. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> Stitch saying it, so he, it was <laughs> out of character. Oh, Hannah Moon's family. Family moves, no one gets left behind. Uh, I believe in this case is actually Ohana means everyone explodes. 
Well, that's Ohio. Oh. No, I thought I, I thought that was I thought that was oh hell no. <laughs> oh yes, the uh, contingency plan. The rest of the rooms in this hallway are uh, are of are not of uh, use to you. Uh, however, the end of this hallway, there is a large circular room with a uh, glass ceiling like domed glass ceiling and you walk in to see uh four rather tall uh posed statues there uh there are two statues of men and two statues of women uh standing and doing some odd pose the room is called an elaborate gesture <laughs> oh boy oh dear you see before you these four statues against the wall. Uh, somebody either make a perception or investigation. Rip this off. I'll make a perception check because I fucked it I'll up. Make, can I make an investigation check? Sure. <laughs> 25. 18. 25 and an 18. Okay, you both see <clears throat> on the floor uh, in this room. Uh, uh, there, there's a number of uh, places to sit around the edges of this room. Lots of like uh, row pillows on like day beds and like um, you know, shea, shea lounges that sort of thing. Um, seems to be some sort of just lounge or like a, like a sunroom, to just to relax in mm -hmm. the lovely. Uh, the, Daylight of the day, however, uh, moonlight casts over it now. Uh, <clears throat> what you two recognize is on the opposite side of the room, there are four empty uh, statue pedestals. And uh, let me describe these statues. <clears throat> Starting from left to right. Uh, the leftmost one <clears throat> uh, has its hands on its hips, and uh, yeah, the first one has its hands on its hips, striking a powerful pose. The second one has a sing its right foot up, and one of its hands bent upward with its palm facing the sky. Uh, one of them is covering its eyes and bending forward in sort of a strange, silly pose. <clears throat> And can the you, last can one. Can you see the third one? What? Can you see the third one again? Uh, the third one is covering its eyes with its hands and leaning okay. forward, like uh, bent at like, like a like, uh, like a thirty forty degree angle, sort of just like playfully leaning off of the column with a big smile on their face. And the fourth. Uh, has a palm over has its right palm over its heart and its left palm over its stomach. Just looking upwards. Uh. Oh, what was the second one? Uh right foot up, hand right. bent towards the sky. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's right right foot is uh bent at a ninety degree angle, so it's off the ground. And its left palm is upwards towards the sky. Mm. Now, what do y'all want to bet that we gotta mirror these guys? Definitely my first thought. I was also thinking the same thing. I had no think? thoughts on this matter. This is beyond my purview. <laughs> Part of me thinks that might be too easy, but we can try it. Do anyone check these doors on the sides yet? No. I just figured they were servants' quarters. Yeah. There were five of us, and uh, four, po four statues. Whoever is not making a statue pose uh, can go check the doors. All right. Who wants to make? Who wants to pose? And who wants to open doors? 
Might not even need to honestly open the doors. Might just wake somebody up unnecessarily, but it means we have one stand and watch. Yeah. Who wants to stand watch then? Well, I'd say that uh, Mr. Uh, Muscles and Backup should probably do that. <laughs> She's in, he'd look at uh, I Ivar. Better than making strange poses anyway. Suits me fine. I I'll keep my hand on my uh, my sword and go. Yeah, right. Uh, just you know, stand up position by the door. Okay. You stand on the the. the it's sort of just an open uh, open archway to the through, but. You keep an eye out. Uh, make me a perception check to keep an eye out. Sure. Uh, is it there? Is... Uh. Damn, okay. I'll keep this in mind. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, uh, who's doing what? Sure, I'll mimic statue. Who cares? Let's roll a d4. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody roll a d4. I'll see. I'm um, statue one. I kind of okay. want four. I'll take four. All right, what? Uh... You didn't roll. I won't roll. I'll I do three. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing two. Boomer, roll. If you get a four, you get it. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> right. uh, you all step up onto these. Hey, we'll anyway. It was not be. Uh, <laughs> no, you still have to roll a four. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> it's the only option left, so you have to keep rolling until you get it, but No. <laughs> it's not Uno. Or if you don't roll a four, I have to go do it instead. <laughs> That's true. That's fake. Yep. Yep. And then I get to re-roll the perception check. <laughs> I'll roll one D four just. Holy Imagine. shit. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be. It was fated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that concerns me now. <laughs> this worked out. It listens to you. you it know listens what? to you. Uh, for luck for that favor. dumb that that set of dumb luck and sheer determination, uh, I will give you all uh, an inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, this is a good point as uh, I'm giving inspiration right now. Uh, as we're doing this, if uh, you can tie anything to a, you can make whatever up you need to uh, within reason, or tie something to your backstory, you will also gain an inspiration or advantage on a roll. <laughs> All right, so I just gotta poke Axel every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, All right. <clears throat> Well, since Skulker took uh, position first, Skulker, what are you doing on the pedestal? <laughs> and I won't be re-describing these. This is why I didn't make a map for this one. <laughs> uh, that's why I asked when you were describing them, because I was like, I have to type this. I, yeah, I started making a map for this, and I went, no, this will be a memory challenge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which yes. was hard for me to do, by the way, because my finger doesn't work. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. I got it too. I got it. It was just hard. Tweet, please. <laughs> one is also the easiest one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on. I was having a conversation. What's going on? <laughs> Tweet, this is a memory challenge. So he asked you uh, what, what you are doing standing on the pedestal opposite the first statue. Yeah, there's no shot. <laughs> Uh, Tim Tebow. As you, yeah, as you, uh, as you stand on the pedestal, your vision, your vision of the other side of the room disappears. You can't see the other statues. Seems to darken. And, uh, stays dark even if you leave the pedestal. <laughs> you know, actually, can, uh, can Skulker, can you still see me from across the room? Skulker's on your side of the room, so yeah. I was on my side of the room. Yeah, because yeah, basically as you're entering, the statues are against the opposite wall of the entrance, and the pedestals that are empty are uh, are are the ones that are on the side that you are on. But yeah, you watch as this magical darkness takes over the side of that room. <clears throat> uh, 
and uh, Skulker, uh, even though uh, he's not from this world, uh, happily poses as the great Tim of Tebow. <laughs> 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 and uh, the pedestal sinks about a foot uh, with a loud, loud crunching chime. <clears throat> And then resets. It sounds like a success. I don't think that's true. Oh, no. not at all. At least we know what happens when it's wrong. I'm just I do wonder if we have to do them all at the same time. Potentially, but... so. by the way, that's why I rolled a d4. I didn't remember any of them, <laughs> so I couldn't tell you which one I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. I haven't thought about the Tim Tebow Tebow pose since like 2014. <laughs> <laughs> my mom just sent me something horrible, and now she's just looking at me and laughing. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share the horrible thing with you. It's, sure. It's awful. <laughs> Is it about Tim Tebow? Uh, no, uh, it's not about Tim Tebow. Uh, if you guys wanna, if Brandon, if you wanna put this on the stream, that is up to you. I, I won't, but you know, <laughs> I hate it. I, I do too. I hate what it. do I? What? How do I respond to that? There I go. don't think you can. Tell there you go. Mom, okay, tell, yeah, you, tell your mom. Lobster emoji they works. I. Uh, they say thanks. They hate it. I adore that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love it, but I also hate it because that, that's like one of those really unsettling photoshops. No, uh, for context, it, like, it is... Why would I wanna, you do this to me? <laughs> I want to put my head through a, through my desk for this, <laughs> but also I'm laughing. Uh, for context, it is, a, it, is, it is the classic picture of Marie Curie uh, holding beakers and some such, but it's Freddy Marie Curie and it's got Freddie Mercury's face superimposed on Marie Curie's body. You know what? I'll put it on the Twitter. How about that? <laughs> yeah, you should put that on the Twitter. Yeah. If, anybody, if anybody's super curious, go to uh, at Fabled Flumps. Yeah, you'll see something special. <laughs> I, I oftentimes during these streams just get random texts and, and <laughs> Facebook messages from my mom and I respond to them usually quietly, but sometimes they are they're special. Sometimes they need to be shared. So they need to be shared with the world. You're gonna be internet famous, this. Mom. So is everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um yes. oh since we all heard the, the chime of the failure, has there been any change in the, the doors I'm observing? Nope. Not at the moment. Wonderful. For those that can see, have the statue shifted? Uh, no one can see the statue. To a new pattern. Oh, okay. Yeah. The statues so, are okay. now aggressive. The, the statues are. Uh, so they all, shouldn't all, have changed them. Yeah, all four of the statues are in a uh, shroud of magical darkness. So you have to. Uh, Put your hands on your hips. By the way, it's like... been tweeted. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Put your hands on your hips and like look like you've just conquered. Or to battle or something. Or, you know, whatever your robot equivalent of hips are. <laughs> okay, does. I try that. Yeah, you, you uh, put your hands on your hips and turn your head up uh, proudly. And there's a, uh, a very silent, much lighter uh, ding as the pedestal raises about six inches. And then a hologram of, uh, of, of to scale of Skulker appears. Mm. All right, then. I feel like that's one done. Uh, who's next? Boomer? Uh, it was right leg up and which hand to this guy? Left. So I'm going to stand on the pillar with my right leg up and left hand to the sky. Okay. Raise your right knee, put your left hand, your left palm up to the sky. It ding and slides up. And uh, the biggest 
uh, version of Boomer that has ever existed. A roughly 10 <laughs> foot tall uh, hologram appears. Ah, uh, yes. On the Bigger pedestal. Boomer. <laughs> I'll wrap my turn, and I'm going to hop up onto my pedestal, cover my eyes, lean forward, and give a big cheesy grin. You. Same. Boom. Slides Boom. up in a hologram of, uh, of yourself appears, and uh, you all can step off after they, uh, they show up. They seem to yep. stay. Yep, and I do. I'm gonna stride over to mine, and I'm going to uh, put my right palm over my heart, my left palm over my stomach, and I'm gonna look upwards. Okay. And I'm gonna do it fashionably. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> you do so. Pong! It slides up into place. The darkness <clears throat> disappears, and as it does, uh, a pedestal that was not there, a fifth pedestal, appears in between the uh, sets of two on the opposite side. With a black key embedded in its frame. I uh, go over and take the key. Uh, you slide the key wait, wait, out, wait. Of, out of the pedestal. Can we check to make sure there's no traps or anything on there? I already did. <laughs> she, I already don't worry, already. she has only been caught four times. Yeah, she slides, slides it out. The pedestal disappears as if it was a hologram and the holograms of you all disappear from the background and the, uh, <clears throat> little podium sink back the six inches into the ground resetting the room but you have a intricate black key <clears throat> oh, they disappeared I was concerned they'd have a direct evidence of who robbed them let's just hope they don't have a memory or, if it's really a concern, there's at least four guards outside we can put there. <laughs> Let's keep the them. killing for later. I was joking. <laughs> I mean, keep it in mind. <laughs> Alright, so we got this part out of the way. Now, before we go back out there, we should probably, uh, we should probably talk about how on earth we're going to get to the next door. And which door we want to go to. If we even That's need to sort of irrelevant. That this is a building, after all. Some of these doors might lead to a roundabout way to the other sides of the building. He does make a good point. Yeah, maybe. Have you checked on what the other doors are, Ivar? Just making sure no one came out and interrupted us, but I can check them now. I'll check some of them, too. <sighs> I guess I'll... Uh... They're, uh, they're all, none of them are locked. They all seem to be uh, empty suites for, like, uh, like guests. Um, okay. Rather n nice, large, like, king-size canopied beds. Um, Multi-room suites, each one of these. Anything valuable in them? I was going to say. Uh, you know, they're... There's definitely some things that are, you know, worth a few silver or something. Uh, no, like, Nothing wanting before. treasure, but uh, I mean, if you want to take a silver mirror or, uh, <clears throat> you know, take the knobs off of the armoire. <laughs> Anything incriminating? <laughs> no, they seem to be pretty clean and clear, so. Shoot. Hmm. Are there any trapdoors in the floor? That might lead to a uh, secret tunnel system, Making so we don't have to go trash. back out the corner. Yeah. Uh. All right. Seventeen. Seventeen. <clears throat> the only thing that you notice that is close to a trap door in any of these rooms is there is some sort of ventilation system. That a rather small creature could fit in. Probably small, like, smaller than Boomer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, gosh, uh, don't a me. I was could probably fit into them, but I was hoping this wouldn't have to come up so soon. Uh, 
Hey, Rainbow. can one of y'all hold? Can one of y'all hold my cape for a second? Okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna I'm gonna take off my cape and pass it to Boomer. And as I let go of it, it shrinks down to roughly the size of a handkerchief. And underneath the cape, you can see a pair of blue and green and iridescent dragonfly wings with gold veining. Oh, you right. Let's well. get this over. No. And I'm gonna uh, really quickly whisper something in Sylvan and twist my silver ring around. And instantaneously, Spruce is no longer 5'3". Spruce is 12 inches tall. <laughs> All right, let's see where this goes. And I'm going to fly up into the ventilation system. Okay. Axel, if you can fit, you should go too, since you can communicate with us. Yeah. You know. And then in, in your brain, Ivor, you're going to hear, I can communicate with you too. <laughs> Works either way. At least you also have some backup. Suppose. And, yeah. uh, though I'd rather uh, save my abilities as they're quite. They're, I wouldn't say they're limited, but I got about three, uh, three good ones. It's up to you. Unless but... we, uh, we, you know, take a short rest. There, there is time for probably one or two short rests in this operations time window, which is dawn. But yeah. just keep that in mind. You have. We shouldn't we can... do. We shouldn't take no. it now because we've barely known anything. If we can find out which direction she is heading, I might be able to assist us in a group excursion outside. What about the skylight windows? Get us back. Are there skylights? In the round room, yeah. There, there, there are skylights in the round room, but they're well, they're not openable. Um, yeah, we could break some glass, glass and yeah. yeah. Axel, before um, I say Willow, before Spruce gets too far, Axel's gonna be like, oh fuck it, and he's going to turn into a. Uh, he can't fly, but he is this thing that can climb like a frog or something. Frogs can climb, right? <laughs> uh, you could turn into an anole. Spiders can. A squirrel. I'm not doing that one. Uh, I mean, it, it's. I, I'll say any any sort of rodent that is, uh, of tiny size could get through this, no problem. Okay, he'll uh, he'll transform into a uh, a a uh, a black rodent with a uh, kind of like Pepe Le Pew, but not really. <laughs> like, but he's got the he's got the stripe. white stripes, um, <laughs> but very distinctly he has um, dark, 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 um, like f almost shadow flaming eye. Um, eyeballs that are just pitch black mm. like at least i can see up there i need to go i mean how have you have you ever seen a rodent's eyes <laughs> yeah but these look have flames in them <laughs> all right you two uh, are green more going in the vents keep in touch with skulker that way he can direct us on how to get to the next door can do all hey, right do you What's... still have that what? handkerchief oh. yeah Make an investigation check, Spruce, to uh, maintain some sort of path, because this is a winding chasm of corridors that seems to link every room to this entire building. Can I assist her? I was going to say, can I get advantage? Uh, because of... Sure. I'm going to... Uh... Very carefully without thinking about 18. it. 18. Okay. Tell Boomer you should blow your nose in that handkerchief. <laughs> so rude. I mean, it's not a handkerchief. It looks like the size of one. Yeah, it looks like it looks like almost like doll's clothing. <laughs> As we're taking corners, Axel's gonna try and relay back to uh, the Skulker. Um, just each each turn they take, 
Get left, right. <laughs> Up, down. Alright, um... With an 18... Uh... I mean... You do find your way... To... To other rooms. Eventually you do come out about... 10 feet off the ground. Uh... In uh, the room to the left here, where two is, uh, come out in the uh, like behind a locked uh, like grate in the wall um, that you could probably pick with your thief. The rest need to get there to uh, be able to help. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, you you could get anywhere in here, but it doesn't seem to be helpful for the group. Uh, I would, um, tell, tell, telepathy to Spruce. How long can you maintain this one? Uh, ever? Interesting. But yeah, you two are uh, you two are in the vents of of room two. Doesn't seem to be any very helpful way to to get the group back this way. It doesn't see these vents don't seem to exit into this courtyard. If I can respond telepathically, once I figure out which I guess wing they're in. Um, if they could let me know if the door is locked or unlocked. Oh yeah, that's something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the lock on the grate. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> it's not so much as a lock, so it's not a super hard thing. It's like uh, the little four pins that are in it to hold it down. So it's just a little latch. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you gotta sort of like hook it through. So uh, yeah, make me a thief tools check. Uh, Unpin this grate. Alrighty. That one. Twenty. Twenty. <clears throat> yeah, you uh, you reach this little hook through, and your little <clears throat> what can only be described as like one of those uh, dentist mirrors. A little mm -hmm. uh, hook, hooked mirror. Yeah, you, the angled mirrors. Yeah, yeah. And you, uh, you fiddle with it. it takes you a good, uh, good minute to get all four of them undone. But uh, after you do the great falls, the ten feet to the floor with a loud bang. While she's doing that, um, does the room look relatively safe? Yeah. Uh, what what you see is uh, before you is an empty, massive. Uh, like banquet hall with a full like spread of food that is still steaming and, and like warm uh, a fireplace is going in the background and the wall opposite the side you came in is a massive mirror uh, as long as this like 50 foot room and going up 20 feet this mirrored wall wow uh, Axel's gonna see if he can run back to the group and give them a, uh, sure. I guess like, he could talk to them, but it's just, it would be easier to go back. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, how far is your, uh, telepathy reach? Uh, it doesn't say. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. Like, it literally doesn't say. I on think the, it's uh, 60 feet. I assume so, but it, like, because I was looking on the, uh... So not... I do appreciate that Matt and I built the exact same character. Well, mm -hmm. We didn't build the exact same character, but it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it is 60 feet. It's uh, 60 feet in front of you, yeah. Oh, so. no. Yeah, you have to run back a fair ways. Yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll run back all through the ventilation system, too, because yeah. he's like... <clears throat> I'll say with the, with the roll and the help and everything, you, you sort of memorized the labyrinth. Yeah. All right, we're uh, we're working with a mirror, um, a mirrored room. There's like somewhat kind of a banquet. He's still a squirrel, by the way. Yeah. Um, I figured that um, she's got the the grate open. I'd probably be most useful here. Um, if anything, just to scout in the courtyard for you guys. Makes sense to me because we gotta get over there. 
All I need to know is if the outside door is unlocked. I can. Uh, I will be uh, working on that shortly. Uh, can, I will fly over to the uh, the door to the outside. Okay. You uh, fly over there. Um, make me a strength check to. Uh, oh no. Well, or or an investigation check to determine if the door has a locking. Okay, investigation, much better than strength. Um, <laughs> not 20! Uh, it is locked, For 28. but because you're inside, it's the, the, the lock is on the outside, so you can unlock it uh, without a check from the inside. However, you do need to make a strength check if you want to try to open the door, <laughs> because you're very small right now. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna j jump. I'm assuming it's like a deadbolt sort of situation. So yes. I'm gonna jump on the, uh, on the deadbolt so that it, it unlocks, <clears throat> and then yeah. I'm gonna try and do the the same thing with the, uh, the lock or with the knob. Yeah, make a strength check. The, the, the lock comes loose because it's not that hard, but uh, pulling these large doors, these large like. Uh, uh, what you call it? These large wood and brass doors. It's a little different. All right. Yep. You uh, y'all ready for this number? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you jump on it. You try to like hang and do like little like pull downs. You try to like fly as fast as you can. Uh, uh, you just sort of wiggle the handle. But uh, the, door, the door is and, uh, unlocked. You just can't open it. <laughs> yep. Well, she's doing that. Can I? Uh, did everyone agree that I could scout the the courtyard area? Makes sense. You have to be. Uh, I'm gonna go teleporting back all of a sudden. Yeah, you have to be let back uh, or let out because uh, un unlike uh, Unlike Spruce, you cannot fly up to the handle. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I have no intention of. I just want to make sure that like there's no traps or anything in the way. What's the, what's the gap under the door? Um, like non-existent. Okay. That's pretty flush. Gotcha. This, this building seems to be uh, <clears throat> well maintained, well crafted, and have some sort of uh. For the first time, for most of y'all, have felt some sort of air conditioning. Interesting. Weird. Yeah. The, the, it's supposed to be so kind. If we can that. assume that the lock will be undone by the time we arrive, then I can set this side of the group into motion. And as well, I speak, yeah. the matrix in my chest begins to glow. And as it gets brighter, the light around me dims as I cast Pass Without Trace. Okay. I'd say might as well going. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be caught five times for her. <laughs> all right. You all have a plus ten to stealth rolls on top. <clears throat> Man. Does the squirrel get the get the, the cape or no? I don't think so, right? I mean, if you want to. Your items shift into your body. Okay, so I do. Pretty wild shit. <laughs> I'll allow it. If you really want to have a cape on, it might draw way more suspicion than just a squirrel, but... Well, that's what I'm wondering, is I'm like, I don't know if I... The... Yeah, no, normally it shifts into you, but... It shifts into you? Okay, then I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say that he gets a, you know... I mean, it's a squirrel. It's whatever. Who cares? <clears throat> All right. It's a squirrel. You all let the squirrel loose into the yard, or you're all just gonna go stealth out there and then make person. Might as well open the door for the squirrel. So yeah, who cares? The squirrel yeah, the can smallest go. crack out first. <laughs> yeah. All right, squirrel, make a uh, make a stealth check. And I'm glad I use the squirrel stealth in this. Uh, yes, you would. Okay. Uh, if you're where proficient, the... you're still also... proficient, but yeah, you use the squirrel's dexterity. Okay. But um, also, squirrel. 
Yeah, and also a squirrel. I mean, it's it's still good to be like, oh, that that squirrel has weird eyeballs, you know. If there's if there's no, it's not that weird, but if there's no squirrel stat, just use the rat stat, I guess. There is what I don't even know what CR the squirrel would be. CR zero, probably. Zero. Um, rat stat. Huh. I think a rat's like a CR one eighth or something. No, no it's a zero. zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dex is 11 plus 0, so... <laughs> what is proficiency so, for that? So are you proficient plus with stealth? Yes. So yeah, plus 3. Okay. So plus 13. Oh yeah, plus 13. Fucking... No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> Stealthiest squirrel. Black squirrel <laughs> tracks along <clears throat> getting a like, way too close, to them, closer than necessary to the guards, but they have no clue, because squirrels are not nocturnal creatures, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you just, you skulk in the shadows around everything, um. Can I see if the, uh, the door, would or, I be able, if the door was unlocked, do you think I'd be able to, like, push it open? Would that be a reasonable not assumption? A squirrel. <laughs> not as a squirrel, okay. Can I see if there's any traps on the ground? Make a, uh, either a perception or investigation check. Do I use my perception? Right? You, you, my mental yeah, stat? you use your, you keep your mental stat. Okay. So you use the squirrel's uh, strength dex con, but you use your... 23. 23. Um, <clears throat> you don't see any other traps. You do see another couple of guards, uh, though. Uh, this one making rounds, and then this one, who is uh, very hard to see. Coming around in the shadows. Okay. No. I'll um. What? <laughs> I'll perch the second thing. This boy. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, if I can, I'll perch up a tree. Uh, that's like about sixty feet away, if I can. Like I, from the door, so I can still have contact with them. But I'm in a tree. Uh, outside. there are no trees on that side of the courtyard. There are no trees. You can climb into like the squirrels bush. live in bushes. I was like, you can climb in this bush over here. Um, I'll do that. That's fine. There are like a just, I just wanted something where I could see stuff, you know? Yeah. The courtyard's very big. The big courtyard. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, these people yeah. are not to scale because if so, they'd be almost 20 feet tall. They were okay. just too, uh. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. The kaiju guards. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> the card, the guards seem to be yeah, the way they were when we left. Uh, there's one that seems to be a little sneaky, but um, I'm out here. Uh, I can try and call their positions if we need to. Um, but you all are good at what you do. Well, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Boomer, I want to say you first. Skulker follow, and then I'll see if there's anything that needs to be cleaned up. I doubt it, but at least that way there's. A we have to move as a group side. if you want to benefit from my abilities. Ah, wonderful. All right, <laughs> hope that keeps big enough for all of us. <laughs> all right, still, let's go. And it's plus ten plus our. Yeah, whatever you roll, it's plus ten. So that's a nineteen. Nineteen. That's Damn. 43. Well, no, 33. 33. Right? I only have a oh, you? Okay, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> 19 uh, for Skulker. 33. The squirrel was more easily the seen than the kobold. That is true, but because it is a squirrel, nobody cares. Yeah, you all sneak together and you watch as the, like, this enchantment, as you get into the darkness, the, the darkness gets darker around you. Like, your edges fade away into the shadow. Uh, and are you there are... any loose rocks that we go past? There's a couple, yeah. Uh, it seems you to be grab... pretty well manicured, but yeah, you grab a couple like, small stones. Yep, uh, and I'm going to use magical tinkering. Okay. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to... Set one of the rocks to emit a really, really nasty smell. Interesting. All right. <laughs> and uh, 
Oh, I'm assuming we're going past the fountain. Yeah. I'm gonna toss it up to the top of the fountain. <laughs> make me just make it's me like a slight hand work. check to uh, get it to balance on this ornate elven statue. <laughs> so like the the smell of durian permeates the air from this rock. <laughs> you land. Oh, I'm thinking worse than that. You. Uh, you toss There's very there. little worse than durian. Uh, you, you, you imbue the magic of this rock to emanate the smell of three-day-old rotting meat in the sun and chuck it up onto the top platform of this rock, or of this, uh, of this intricate... Uh, uh, so well so, uh, that uh, the top section you actually place the rock onto the inside of the there's like a flat section like where the water comes out of you place it in the center of the water there so it's like near impossible to see from this, this ang the angle for later. <laughs> smell does it begin immediately or Yes. Okay. It begins immediately, but I'm assuming it obeys normal scent uh, physics. Yeah, it, it's a little bit more magically potent. It begins to spread rather quickly. Does it cling? Just, I mean, that's why I had him roll the slide of hand check. It is. It's balanced up there. It's not going to fall off. Okay. So no, I mean, just... like, does the scent cling? Not yet, but who knows if, you st if it continues to permeate, maybe. I'm sprinting out. I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were uh, far away enough, but... Uh... <clears throat> yeah, the guard that is walking around the, uh... <laughs> the, the fountain, like... As you all are like staying on the opposite side of him, he kind of stops and like, begins to sniff at the air. <laughs> he pulls his scarf up. <laughs> um, we'll see how long he can last staying there. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> but you all sneak through the uh, empty gazebo. And around, uh, I'm assuming the door too. You've been sort of what you've been told. Um, yeah, you're the door too. Just look for the door with a squirrel in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, she should be on the other side. Uh, through through the keyhole, I can see them. I'm gonna telepathically uh, share with the group. I've unlocked it, but I can't. Uh, I can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Magic. imagining a very tiny hand coming through the key, like the the, the lock. No, it's just just so I can. It, it's like I'm just looking through the keyhole. Okay. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not gonna stick my arm through a lock mechanism. That would be a terrible idea. <laughs> yep. Does the door open uh, in or out? Uh, same as the other one. It opens inward. All right. I guess telepathically, I'm gonna tell Spruce to back up unless we get with the door. All right, I flutter away and oh. and will hover in the air at roughly five and a half feet. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the door opens and the group uh, clinging to this uh, <clears throat> the uh, you're, you're helped uh, in your uh, walk across this courtyard by uh, what looks like um. Maybe a storm's coming in? Some uh, heavy clouds have begun to cover the moonlight. So, uh, the dark <laughs> outside gets even more oppressive. Good for you. As you're getting in some of the guard light torches. They do not have dark vision. And uh, without that lovely full double moons... Uh, it's pretty dark. <laughs> but, uh... I'll enter the second room. <clears throat> I'll take you to that map now. 
Like I said, you see a beautifully set, massive uh, dining room table with a large uh, mirror on the right hand side. <sighs> However, The, as, as you get in, uh, to, uh, at, at most two people make a perception or investigation check. I'll make an investigation. Uh, I have a plus seven perception, but if anyone wants to do it, because I've been making a lot of them. <laughs> people yeah, are good at what they're good at. I'll, I'll just do the perception. Okay. 18. 25? Or no, 18. I thought like 25, no. I already know exactly what we're doing here. Yeah. I do too, and I don't like it. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> this is gonna be so fidgety. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. Huh. But were you making a roll? Uh, oh, yeah. sure, I can make a roll. And oh, I thought you said you were going to, so I was waiting. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Damn! <laughs> Those are two natural 20s in a row for you. Oh, or no, okay. no, 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 not in a row. Not in a row. Almost a row. Close. Okay. A yeah. 20 and a 20. The other one. You two see two identical rooms, a mirrored version, and the room you're standing in right now. However, Axel and Boomer, you both sort of stop and realize there's some differences in the rooms. Mm -hmm. The room behind the mirror is different. Yep. Uh, welcome to the mirrored room. <laughs> uh, you need to find all the differences. <laughs> and, I, make, before I and make the mirror match. <laughs> Before I fly down to Texas and stab Brandon, did you really, really make a find the difference puzzle? Absolutely, I did. <laughs> Me, <absolutely>. all right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's made not, the, there's not the that difference many differences. Possible. I won't tell you how many there are, but I mean, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. Oh, I've been circling the ones as I find them. <laughs> I'm sad because I just found out that my uh, I can't use my tablet <laughs> to draw the. Can I use the other tablet? Nope. Are the differences going to be as fidgety as uh, silverware or no? Um, you're not certain. They will be. That's a, that's a that's a yeah. they will be. Do you mean for um? Almost also, every oh. single chair to be slightly off. Uh, yeah, I mean, also, well, the, <laughs> there there are some things that are just they're they're either different or missing. I have a list. What is what is this blue here? No, I mean, but like almost every single chair is almost slightly off, and I don't know if that's intentional. I mean, I was just placing chairs. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so that's. We could probably let the chair orientation go. What is this blue? It's blue. Like under the table. That's from like me. High... Okay. That's from me moving the table and inversing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah yes, dark world table. That's... What are you talking about? That's not different. The the plate of ribs with the. Oh wait, it's missing an egg. Yeah, it is yeah. missing one egg. Brand. Good God. It's circling on the mirror side. It's missing an egg, you motherfucker. <laughs> Those are those are right. Also, the number of bananas next to the cheese wheel. <laughs> You're kidding! This is this is How fidgety is this? This is so fidgety. What is wrong with you? So I'm taking it to match the uh, the mirror world one, most likely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
mean, if that's not the case, then, you know. <clears throat> I need to find a way to remove a chair. <laughs> Take just, it out of the just shot. Just throw it at one of the guards, it'll be fine. I mean, I was just gonna put it in the fireplace, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, throwing it into the fireplace would be yeah, so you, uh... I knew this one was going... I was like, this one, this one, the amount of effort I'm putting into this will be immediately <laughs> forwarded by a group of yeah. six people. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, so annoying. We've ever found I'm, seven uh, of them before. I I'm gonna go one. adjust the, uh, the bear head, too, to match yeah. correctly. I'm, I'm still a squirrel at this point. I'm just fucking looking around. Do I cast a shadow? Or a, a, a mirror? Uh, I cast a mirror? No, I don't cast a mirror. I'm gonna stab this squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's... So... The, the chair wasn't one of them, but I, I mean, I guess it's different? I can't tell. <laughs> It looks the it's same to me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not, the it's not mirrored. Yeah, they're canted in the same direction, oh, okay. which should be mirrored. Oh, that was just a, that yeah. was a mistake on my part. We're just finding problems at Brandon <laughs> and Listen, I did a fantastic job at this, so, uh, you know. Listen, I, <laughs> the barrels at the bottom are off because the, uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're flipped. mirrored, but on the wrong side. I assume that's just because they were flipped. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I think that, that one's... Quick, someone check the loot strings. How many strings are on the loot? <laughs> I don't know. That's my that's what I was actually thinking. Um It okay. would be, right? The loot like is good. No, the loot so, I was joking. No, I know, but it I'm would gonna be, start though. by moving this uh gravy gravy boat to the blank space. Or from from here in the real world world yeah. to where to the blank space. Okay. So <clears throat> You do, and uh, a stone <clears throat> on the fireplace sinks in. Is um, right. is, is spring big again? No, spruce is not big again. Spring spruce. Are we able to lift that crazy <laughs> boat? It's a challenge. Can I lift it, the yeah. <laughs> All right. Pretty he hefty gravy boat, and it's about half full. I, I guess I'll go match the bear heads and start dragging the chair to the fireplace that no. shouldn't be there yeah you slide the <clears throat> you see there's actually another set of hooks on the wall that are like slightly like one down and <laughs> you lift the bear head off and down the other and in, in order to actively help i'm gonna unsquirrel okay <clears throat> yeah. and i'm gonna i'm gonna here. rotate the cheese here chunk you rotate the cheese <laughs> uh somebody eat a banana <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick up the banana and throw it into the fireplace. <laughs> that was good potassium. <laughs> I'm going to put the knife into the turkey. Okay. Hey. Oh my gosh, there is a knife in the turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this one's set to the side and this one's yeah. cut into it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, four bricks have slid into play, like slid into the wall. I would uh, like to see... Farther. I'd like to state that I uh, I adore this. I love the effort put into this. Oh, it's cute. It's just, my God. No, I love this. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I had to throw this into Photoshop is, and move the, the table. Uh. <laughs> is the parasol at the bottom here supposed to be black? Uh, this this one right here. Yeah. The uh, <clears throat> these napkins are reverse sided. One side's black and one oh. side's red. All right, I'll flip over the napkin. Yeah, you flip it over. Uh. You hear the clunk of a, the stone slide into the fireplace. <laughs> Anything else that is being moved or changed or... Did I die? Hello? <laughs> Hello, am I back? Oh my yeah. god, I didn't know. Okay. <clears throat> I was, uh... 
I lost connection, I think, maybe? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Rose may have moved him to the he moved you to the chat. You I can't hear things in Twitch. You <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and then I was like, ah shit. And then someone lunged it and I was like, cool. Right. And if I'm in streamer mode, so things go get fucky. I'll we'll say that the chair. You're like I reverse sided the napkins. I'm like, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pop an egg in my mouth and uh, okay. pick the bun up and put it on the on the table. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put the bun on the floor over here. Can I hear them? I'm like, oh, no, I'm sorry, yeah, no, I reversed that. I was looking at Mirror World. I'm gonna yeah. put the bun on the floor. Yeah, you, grab yeah, the you didn't come back immediately. I was like, I killed him. You grabbed the bun. I was like, oh, fuck, I, did I lose connection? I started checking no. out all the stuff. I'm like, I'm still streaming. My voice is still coming through. But he needs to the ribs eat that some are ribs and... All right. Yep. Yeah. Well, I got I got and ribs. I can do ribs. Somebody needs to remove that chair. Uh, like let's do the that. do the chair last because I don't want to cast it into the fireplace and let someone know we were here. So maybe you just remove it from that spot work. So we'll do that. You one. just put it up against the door, maybe. Like I said, yeah. just do it final. And if I if it's still not unlocking by the time I bring it to the fireplace, well, it sucks to be the chair. I mean, it's a mirror. I just move the chair behind one of the other chairs. <laughs> a stone disappears into the... <laughs> oh, there you go. How many stones are uh, left on... You don't, you don't know, they seem to just be pressing into the... the... By the way, does the food taste good? Yeah, it's delicious. Hell yeah. Like, it just came out of the, uh, just came out of the kitchen. All right, everybody start looking for, looking at the silverware. That's all. Oh, are we not done? Well, that's all ten. Oh, is that all of them? I think so. Yeah, I think we got let, me let me double check my list. Can we find more that weren't a problem? I mean, if you I mean, right. <laughs> yeah, like I said, every chair is slightly off. Yeah, I'm like. No, I have I have ten things. Like this so. this chair. Right here needs to be moved up a little bit. Uh, listen, I, I did my best. <laughs> the the like chair, to, uh, other yeah. than this chair, they, they weren't they weren't all. Uh... <laughs> you know what? I got the, I got the best one here for you. Okay, the floor is not flipped. I couldn't flip the floor. <laughs> looking at the floor, I was actually looking at the floor. I was Brent, like, did he like mix you... move tiles? Like, can I can I give you a uh, little piece of Photoshop advice? Yeah. If you take the whole thing, copy it, and then hit Control T, and go up to the oh, I know. Numbers at the top, I just had to flip only certain things. <laughs> promotion, and that will flip the entire image perfectly. Th that is correct. However, that wasn't the point. <laughs> I needed to. I needed to be able to move items before I flipped things. <laughs> so I had to save it. I mean, you could do uh, as, them as a as a separate layer, and then. Well, oh, okay, yeah. Alex, I would have to, I would have to, I did it the best way I could, because if not, I'd have to export it, save it, re-import it back into the, the, the map creator, do this again, then go into Photoshop and delete the things that were incorrect, and then put it back into it, and then put the items that were correct. So, <laughs> I did it the, the least steps, I did it in four, <laughs> instead of seven. Nice. <laughs> All right. Where's this, uh... Show, I was like, we... oh, fuck, this is so incredible different. that you did this. Uh, I'm just giving you shit. It is insane that you did this. But, uh, yeah, as the tenth, I cannot believe that you did this. As the tenth tile sinks in, uh, the light goes out in the room, and everything resets back to the way it was, except for hanging from a chain... In the uh, from the ceiling as a single black key on a hook. <clears throat> okay, I will take the black key. All right. <laughs> the bananas one. I was like, damn it, you saw that so fast. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be fully honest. It was the first one I saw. <laughs> Actually, I will. I will. Um, I will say say. Uh, phrase and Sylvan become normal size, uh, normal size spruce, yeah. and then I will take the black key. Okay. Yeah, these are all right. That's two strange. out of five. Yeah, these are heavy, strange keys. They're like so.
surprisingly dense. Alright. All right. Let's keep it going. Time's ticking. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Yeah, this was one of the ones I was like, I can't do this without making a map. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. Ori that originally amazing. there was twenty, and I was like, I put all the silverware back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was scared. Yeah. Th th that one is one of the things. It's like I love this, but I fucking hate you for. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, Brandon. Fine. The work you put into that's absolutely amazing. But that's part of the reason why I'm like. <laughs> He put so much work into that. <laughs> it took he put ten so minutes. It only, took, it only took know, about two and a half like, hours to put together. Still... <laughs> it was critically analyzed, assessed, and broken down in the course of thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess. Uh, are you? No, you know. Up the hall you across the gazebo. Uh, no, I I unsquirled because it's more fun to unsquirl. Gotcha. Up the hall or across the gazebo. <laughs> How's the uh, stink rock doing? I would say just keep moving in a, in a Ooh, circle. It, it, I, it, I will say it took sure. about, it took y'all canonically about five minutes to move everything around and position it before you got the key. Um, yeah. It's pretty stinky out here. There's a light breeze, so it's wafting pretty much all over the courtyard. Uh, and I'm going to make uh, four constitution saving throws. <laughs> oh, no. Also, I unscrolled. Make... I, I unscrolled just to make sure you saw. I didn't have a. Uh, I didn't have a reflection. Okay, one just guard is sure. good. Two guards is good. Three. Ooh. One of them had to leave. Home, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, the boy that was uh, had to be by it got sick. You can see, there's a little puddle. Uh, he he uh, up in the fountain. <laughs> he respectfully threw up on the stone, um, as to uh, not be uh, flayed alive by this lady. Um, I have no idea what oh. you did, Boomer, but uh, it's horrific. And uh, is not here when you get back. You just see a puddle of sick, a helmet, and uh... <laughs> all right. Yeah, so no guard. I vote north at this point. It still has not been long. So long as we all move together, you will still benefit from my spell. You are just like all right. Let's away. move together then. I said, "Fuck it, just go." You all still have pass without trace. I'll, I'll say just for the fun of it. Yeah, you all, you all are under the effects of it when you're close to him. So. All right. Either a uh, perception check first or a stealth check. Uh, good perception. Okay. I'll keep a lookout. You Ooh, choose perception know. instead of stealth, you which has should, a plus 10. You should use your inspiration. I'm going to use my inspiration. No wow. way. <laughs> I'm going to leave. <laughs> wow. Oh, God, pardon. Bravo. Fucking <laughs> useless. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is what she called you when we started. Yeah. You, uh, that is what I said. Your eyes are used to the dark, but the stink is just so distracting. You just keep trying to find out where it's coming from, and uh, unfortunately, because of its placement, a lot of the guards have tended to, towards the two directions you need to go. <laughs> honest, honest, <clears throat> I can't, I, I can't focus on anything but that fucking smell. <laughs> The guards were focusing on it more. Well, they're focused on it. Opposite side of the courtyard. <laughs> they're all standing by the fire. <laughs> like three or four of them are standing by the fire. <laughs> the fire pit to get yeah, rid of the stake. They a long way around and get to the far side. Yeah, we could. Yeah. It will more or less be an identical trek, given that the obstacle near the fountain has passed. That guard isn't there, so we have to cross the same number, regardless. Well, 
We mm -hmm. either cross the two right here and reach four, or we cross the two right here and reach three. I thought the guards had pushed up towards... Uh, uh, well, this guard is still here, but this guard has gone away. He is no longer uh, circuiting down here. He is circuiting. But, well, um, nobody knows that because uh, the perception check was so bad. <laughs> working you just, off that you, don't, you don't see guards where you're expecting guards. Like, you're waiting for timing and then they don't, they don't show up. Or they show up at a different time. Hmm. So something has changed. You'll just know it at the moment. Whoever drew the stink rock there, thank you. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I still say north. I agree. We should just maintain the circle. Alright. Just to Boomer specifically, Axel's just gonna say, If this gets in my clothes, I'm sending you a dry cleaning bill. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay. It doesn't actually smell. Alright. I'm gonna roll my stuff. Alright. Yeah. I am also gonna roll stuff. Yeah. Oh. That's 28 for me. 23. 20 for Boomer. 26. 26. Okay, that's everybody and no one, uh... Yeah, no one's passive is nearly enough to, uh... Watch you all. You fling underneath the uh, the balcony here and just follow sort of like closely behind one of these guards as they're making their pattern around this uh, this square with this uh, outside like uh, dining set. Uh, it doesn't have uh, this much actual food on it. It has the remains of this food, probably yeah. earlier in the day. In that case, we've made it to the door. Yeah, you all uh, swing around and are able to avoid detection to make it to door number four. Okay. All right. Uh, is it look. locked? Right. Oh. See if the door is trapped. Investigation check. While they are checking, I would like to get up behind the statue to uh, keep an eye on the guard behind us. He doesn't, uh, <clears throat> uh, because of how the shadows cling to y'all with the, with the spell, even when he gets fairly close with the, uh, torch, and it just sort of doesn't illuminate you like you're expecting it to. Oh. Um, so you're able to get pretty close to these guards with the spell up and active. Yeah, as long as you don't enter the bright light circle of the uh, their torches, you seem to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, twenty-one investigation. It is locked. It is not trapped. Alright, I guess I will try to pick the lock. Alright. <clears throat> Roll a thief check. I use sleight of hand. Um, I mean, roll sleight of hand and then add an extra three on top of it, I guess. Yep. Well, because it should be this, unless you don't have expertise with Hand. So I have. He only has expertise with tools. I have proficiency with tools, uh, but Artificer also has tool expertise, which proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability checks that use a tool. Okay, so what is your your dexterity bonus? Uh, 
plus three. So it's you plus have nine. a plus nine with your. Yeah. So it's the same roll as your. Oh, oh my gosh, she did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Flash on those. That's okay. We all have well, Natural okay. one. <laughs> you go to put your thieves' tools in there, and <clears throat> something just catches immediately in the sort of like panic to try to get it out because you didn't even get them set up properly. The, the lock wasn't in the orientation you were expecting. Um, <clears throat> you get your lock picks out. Uh, but uh, they seem a little a little dinged up. They might be slightly damaged. Uh, so uh, and you can attempt again, but the DC is higher because the locking mechanism scratched on the inside. <clears throat> might be a little bit more sticky now. Um, Are the hinges for the door visible from the outside? They're not. Seems to open mm. in. I guess I I can try again unless someone else wants to try. I hold my hand out. It's all right. Parts of my spell dull sound and I hold my arm up to my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Chime of opening, which is actually a recorder of opening. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna be real with you. I, I, I genuinely was not expecting that I, either. I was expecting it, and it still was <laughs> unexpected. So, you just had a recorder of opening. No, you I bought, bought it. He bought you it. bought it. He, he bought it. Did you like five bucks it? on Amazon? Who cares? Oh and you bought God. a recorder for this joke? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love this. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the door clicks and opens, uh, <clears throat> but uh, it does seem to. You hear a huh? What was that? Go check that out. And they begin to move in your direction. Uh, but everyone's by the door. I don't know if you want to uh, escape escape inside. Yes. Uh, yeah. As we go inside, I'm gonna take another one of those rocks and have it mimic that sound. Okay. And throw, and then I'm going to use. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just throw it as far as I can. Make an athletics check. Uh, actually. Or give it to someone who's better at throwing things. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably be safer. I don't think any of us have a. Well, Monk, Monk's use Dex, though, so... I mean, un unless I use Catapult, but I kind of want to save that. I was say, you can use Catapult I mean, if you wish. Is it small enough you to just tie? Want... I, have small... <laughs> I have a sling. I have a sling. I can just sling the rock. Yeah, make a, make sling, a sling, sling attack. attack. Yeah. yeah, just sling it over the, over the roof. It'll be like a weird bug. Yeah. All right, which a direction weird bug are you that shooting? Makes a recorder sound. Yeah. And what I'm is the... recorder bug... What is the range, or the maximum range on the, uh... On the 120. Sling? 120, okay, so you, if you shoot it left or right, you can shoot it onto the roof away. But you couldn't get it southward, which would probably be a good idea, so... I mean, if I shoot it southward, could I get it on top of the gazebo? Potentially, that would take a, a higher roll, but... Alright, which, which way do I send it? Up to you. Uh, the guards uh, are coming your direction. I'm gonna send, send it, back, it. Send it back towards the door we came from. Yeah, I'm gonna send it towards two. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, dopplers away. Oh my god. You're I've awesome. never been so concerned about choking on cheese in my life. Uh, <laughs> it, it fucking, it, yeah, dopplers away and the guards immediately go to uh, chase after it as you open the door and uh... And I do seven damage to something. <laughs> bush. Axel's <laughs> <laughs> just gonna do a double take. 
<laughs> Wait, you're awesome. That's amazing. That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he said we, we got one, like, like rare or lower magic item. I was just looking through. I saw Chime of opening. I was like, I got an idea. <laughs> yeah. You bought a so yeah. Fleet yeah. of opening. Yeah, you watch as you watch as this uh, recorder slides back into the slot in his arm uh, as the door opens. We'll enter uh, <clears throat> room number four. That explains why you're getting everything. Lesson number four. I honestly don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shock and all. Yeah. I can't believe uh, he bought a recorder for a joke in D and D. <laughs> why not? I'm glad he. Did. Uh, all right. I'm glad he. Did, I was gonna bust out all trust buns, but I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like four notes? <laughs> yeah, but I don't. Yeah. Know. They all kind of sound the same to me, so I think this recorder kind of sucks. <laughs> it's three notes. It is yeah, but like, no matter like what holes I cover, it kind of just sounds the same. You I bought think a the five dollar recorder. Yeah. It is understandable. <laughs> you bought a recorder that was made overseas. Like, right. <laughs> that's not going to be a properly tuned instrument. <laughs> Show me the next puzzle right. room, please. Uh, this one I is got whiplash, sli like slightly different. <laughs> this is a a long hallway. That connects uh, to a long uh, or to a, a, a pretty much identical door that you just left. Uh, <clears throat> there's nothing of interest in this room. There, there's artwork and, and and statues and stuff on the walls, except for when you reach the halfway point, sitting in a slight alcove in the wall. There is a massive bronze face door looking structure it just looks like a a portly chubby almost genie like man's face but it's this huge 15 foot by 15 foot circular door embedded into the wall <laughs> um I would like to touch my talisman and activate the tech magic. <clears throat> you raise your talisman and this door is very magical and as you activate your talisman the eyes open up and blink for a second. You're not supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. I won't tell on you. If you answer my riddle, though. Wonderful. Oh, no. <laughs> Very well, oh... Metal one. <laughs> oh, me I look facet. as if address. <laughs> His name is Bassett? Bassett yeah. I think. Uh... F A F A C. -E yep, like the facet of a gemstone. Mm -hmm. It is fascinating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a jokester, how wonderful. You have a sharp mind, you probably will enjoy my conundrum. <clears throat> and uh, as his oh, eyes dear. open, a, uh, an image appears in all of your brains. Depicting a room with two doors. A little, like, imagine, like, a little, like, spawn in an animation of a little sprite of, like, just a generic human appears. <clears throat> you are trapped in a room with to two doors. Underneath a shaded arm. The door behind you, and it po the little arrow points. Uh, to a large set of double doors behind the little icon of a human. Behind you is a very hungry dragon. However, the door across the way 
you know, leads to safety. Unfortunately for you, and you watch as a, uh, a small little caricature of a, of a rabbit hop from the un underside of the shaded awning into the room and immediately incinerates into smoke, there's a large lens focusing the light of the sun. Anything that enters this room will die immediately. You have no magic. You are unarmed. How would you escape this room? All right, I'm gonna need this ran one more time. <laughs> you just... Maybe typed out. <laughs> I'll type out my. Oh, here I'll copy my uh, my notes for. I'll post it. I think my first idea is just to take the awning with us. Yeah, that's my first idea too. It's it's a it's like a it's built into part of the room. It's just like above you. Okay. Yeah. You're not like to take the awning. In a room with two doors under a shaded awning. One door behind you has a very hungry dragon. The other door is across a room with sunlight refracting through a lens, frying anything that leaves the shade. But leads is to that, safety. Is that incinerated rabbit in play? Yes. Feed the dragon. What do you feed the dragon? You don't have anything. The rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit's gone. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> yeah, turning into dust. It is incinerated, yes. <laughs> you let the dragon out, the dragon will incinerate. <laughs> the dragon will be under the awning with you. <laughs> Well, if it doesn't, does, does the dragon know that the lens is in this room? Theoretically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Is there any way to dig? I believe I know the answer. Oh? What is your answer? You walk into the room with the dragon, escaping the room you are currently in. You watch as the little representation of the man walks into the room and gets eaten. That's He's not escaped what the room. I was looking for. You didn't He's... escape, you got eaten. <laughs> he escapes the room. Hmm. Straight face to Thomason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I That's believe I might have the answer, answer in that case. Looking for. Another answer, then. Interesting. Ah, uh, I have an answer. Yeah, the perimeter is where we have to get to the How do you escape the door. room safely? Because I will amend I... my question. I sit yes. down and wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh? Until nightfall. <laughs> you watch as the animation skips the, the guy sits down and the animation of like the sun slowly retreating till it's nightfall and walks across the other way and opens the doors and there's a little bit of a da -da 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 -da. <laughs> now you've got nintendo after us he kind of furls his brow no one ever gets I'm kind of upset. You did it so quickly. Patience is a virtue. Ah, very well. You watch as he sticks his tongue out, <clears throat> and there are two things on his tongue. There's a rather large emerald, <clears throat> and there's a, a lever. I will reach out and take both things. Okay. You, you take the emerald, but the lever is built into his tongue. No. <laughs> All right. I assume we have to put shall that I... somewhere. Well, emerald, yeah, but shall I pull the lever? Oh, All right, pull the lever. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
uh, immediately pulls the tongue back into his mouth. Well, I won't tell on you. I won't say I saw anybody if anyone asks. Before you is the exhibit hall, exhibition hall, if you need any other help, just come back and let me know. Unless I, of course, think of a new riddle to give. Uh, maybe deeply. the next one should be more clear. <laughs> I would like to bow and thank him for his challenge. <laughs> you bow and he immediately turns from like having the furrowed brow from being told this <laughs> puzzle didn't explain <laughs> wasn't explained well. <laughs> it's like <laughs> hmm, to, uh, to uh, a grin. All right, so I guess we gotta go back to the to the other room that we haven't been into yet. Before we head in, uh, Axel's going to be like, I don't uh, want to be a shit disturber, but uh, why aren't you supposed to be here? He goes, I'm, I'm one of the uh, defenses that Mama put in. Hmm. Uh. I guard the treasures that are not meant to be lost to the world anymore. Hmm. Very well. I dare say I don't think we'll be passing this way just this one moment. We have somewhere else that we're required to be, but we'll be coming back shortly. They nod. <clears throat> It'll take me some time to come with, come up with a new riddle. If I think of one and you take too long, I might, uh, I might break that out and try to stop you again. <laughs> he sighs with the dissatisfaction that someone solved his riddle. <laughs> Oh, tisk tisk now. It's our turn. We'll come back with a riddle for you instead. Eyes narrow and the fur brows furrow. I'd like to see you try. Purely for sport. Now, <laughs> turn to the rest of the group. We should probably go where we are needed to be. Right. Well, if we think about what we have collected so far. Two keys. A lever has been pulled. We are missing three keys? Was it five? It was five. Yes. Five keys. It was five, yeah. So we are definitely missing. So either room three or the east wing has three keys in it, or we may as well go to the exhibit hall and see if there's a key to be found there first. Agreed. Personally, think, I'm willing well, to Well, I mean, that. we're go... Go, go ahead. I was gonna say that, uh, there... We're... The entrance to the vault is in the exhibit room. So... If there's a key there, and then we gotta come back there anyways to go into the vault. Might as well. well uh, my, my line of thinking is more along the lines of confirming if there is a key there or not. If we confirm there isn't, we know we have three more to find. If we find two more in the east wing and assume there is one in the exhibit hall and return to find nothing, we then have to leave once more, wasting time. I would also like to bring up the fact that um, we were told there was there might be about 20 guards on the premises, and uh, we have not seen near that many. So, just keep that in mind the next time we're going into a room, because uh, I'm a little concerned. Well, this is what I'm currently figuring. If you, I found if you one want to, room, so. you could <laughs> peek into the, ex uh, the exhibition hall. Want to. I, I, I won't, you know... <laughs> That's not sure. an issue. It's uh, I'll say that for right now it's it's not locked from this side. No one usually gets past uh 
all of the guards, so the, the central areas of this place are not usual. Um, all right. Well, so, in that case, we're already here. Might as well peek real fast. And as we walk down the hallway, right now I'm figuring something. We found a key in each room. I suspect there's going to be one in this room up ahead. One's in the last room we have to be in. And then that leaves us with one, correct? Yes. Likely in the central structure. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Which means one of us is going to get up to that center gazebo and go find that. But, of course, that's just a theory. Okay. Hell, right. if you, you want see. me to go find... Nope. This is room... room number three? This is... well, this is room four. This is the exhibition. Oh, right. This is the exhibition hall. Yeah. Now we have a room five and six on that side, okay. Four is the actual hallway that connects these. Hmm. Look at those dragons. <laughs> Dragon head. So this is the stuff Topaz? Yeah, this is the, uh... That one. And this is the... What the fuck was this? Skeleton man of a giant monster. Yeah. And a fucking coffin? Okay. Yeah. Giant coffin. All right. Like 35 feet, there are two 35 feet long. Not joking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my my detect magic should still be functioning right now. I assume. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, from here, the skeleton is magical, and some of these scrolls are magical, but everything else is out of your range. At the moment. But yes. No. This whole room is probably full of magical items, and bobs, and bits. All right. Well. I will relay the fact that the skeleton's magical because I think that's the most concerning. Well, we have two means to progress. Either return and go to the east wing, followed by the central structure, or we can take a gamble and pick either the left or the right room here. But if we suspect this is our final destination, it might be apps to wait I agree we should double back if we get back yeah. in time before the genie has a riddle at least we'll be bypassing that I also and if we don't started. we can just break him I've got some riddles I can give him I think as long as we get at least give him one we keep him distracted yeah so, I think we've humiliated the poor thing enough you uh you you pop your head back into the door, closing the uh, door to the exhibition hall. And uh, oh, I, one of the things that I, I should state: that room is fairly well lit, but there's a lot more places to hide. Um, <clears throat> and also, uh, when y'all entered, uh. The bookshelves at the end looked strange and seemed to have been jutted out from the wall and slid to the sides <laughs> with a, uh, a large structure that you can't really make out too much detail from across the room. But you feel like that's probably the vault. All right. So our dear uh, Spruce is going to go to the gazebo? I can if you want me to. If we want to uh, make use of my current abilities, we should go ahead and progress to the East Wing as quickly as possible. I agree with Skulker. We should just keep moving for right now. We know there's probably going to be a key over in that room. The gazebo's a gamble. I would also uh, yeah. like to point out that uh, in case we cannot make it in time, uh, I could also refresh this in a different way. I'll, I'll also say that... Uh... Yeah, the gazebo is like sort of just an open, flat area. Um, there's some like seating uh, spots in there, but it's like an o it's open on all eight sides. Basically. Oh, okay. interesting. Yeah, you can you can just sort of walk through this like 
Uh, so we, we didn't, we probably would have seen if there was any kind of like statues or any specific items. Well, I mean, landing yes. on the roof. All right. Uh, yeah, I thought that center structure was a statue that we were discussing earlier. No, no, no this is a. <clears throat> yeah, the, well, this is the the whole thing is like thirty five ish feet tall to the height, but no, mm. it's it's open from down here. You can just like walk in. Like these are like sets of stairs that go up into it. It's just like a covered covered gaz okay. like marble gazebo with a big gold like thing at the top of it. <laughs> in that case, yeah, we should take a the opportunity to utilize the stealth and get to the room and back in time. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Also, uh, did the uh, whistling stone and the stink stone do any more to the guards? Uh, the stink stone, no, but the whistling stone, the the guards seem to be on high alert, and on this this side, the top corner mostly, they're trying to figure out where the stone is. It's on the roof at the moment. Yeah, the riddle didn't take long, so they should still be like, "What's going on?" Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just. I just want to know if it pulled guards away from. It did. Well, actually, right. make a make a perception or investigation check. You don't I try and redeem guard. myself and make one as well. Sure. You know. Someone needs to take away Alex's dice. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I roll twenties or ones. Yeah, there is I no do. in between. I Ooh, do believe uh... you have uh, some luck of golden dragons about you. <laughs> yeah, your uh, <clears throat> your your sight beyond sight lets you focus in, and yeah, they're they're patrolling and they're like combing through. Uh, they're combing through the grass trying to find the sound of this thing. Um, and just not locating it at the moment. Uh, one of them reaches down like. He's like, oh, I found. And he just puts his hand in the sick from the other guy. Like, oh, oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep him busy. Oh, make a, let's make a constitution save throw for that man. Oh no. Oh poor man. <laughs> he, the pile of sick doubles. <laughs> and the guards. Oh another. no. Oh, the guard. <laughs> The stink rock's kill count's actually pretty damn high right now. <laughs> <laughs> the stink yeah, rock the stink has rock the highest rock kill count. At least what? Can't confirm. Or it's the neutralizing kill. count. So right now, Boomer has the highest kill count. <laughs> oh, fuck this! I'm going home. <laughs> he storms off, also throwing his helmet onto the ground. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I did that. Days. All right. Anyway. Yeah. While they're busy. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a good time to make go. stealth yeah. checks. I'll we'll say. Uh, when we get I hate it with advantage. <laughs> Ooh. They are good. thoroughly distracted. Oh god. Now what's the command for advantage? Again? Advantage and password trace. Oh my gosh. So thirty over here. Twenty-five. I rolled two. Uh, and nine. over thirty. Nice. <sighs> Yeah, if, uh, if you did roll two nines. So what's the uh, what's the type command for advantage? Uh, slash R two D twenty A H one. H one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, natural twenty. Thirty four. You all, uh, <laughs> you all disappear into the shadowy mist. Uh, you see this. Out of everything that's happening, strange. You see a cat. Only watches you, or seems to uh, pick up movement. Otherwise, sits there by the fire. Magic cat. Uh, can I cast detect thoughts in the in the direction of the cat? Sure. All right, I'm gonna I'm ve gonna very quickly use detect thoughts in the direction of the cat. Focus in on the cat. Very basic thoughts. Movement? No. Safe. Okay. Break down. Okay, so it's a legit cat. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> and you just hear lick. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> so we can stick a lean <laughs> oh, kitty. <laughs> but you know what? Better safe than being spied upon. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trust me, I've, my brain oh, said I still have the tech magic on, so. Yeah. Yeah. Not a, it's not a magic cat, but this is a magic fireplace as you pass it. <sighs> it's not a magical cat. It's just a cat magical by a magical cat. fire. It's a snitching cat. Uh, hopefully we not. We should just continue forward without delay. Before no, the guards yeah. they don't care about the sound you will, you will easily make your way. The third door. Thing. No, no guards are on this side over here. They've been thoroughly distracted by uh, <clears throat> vomit, rock, and whistle stone. <laughs> like earth, wind, fire. Uh, yeah, they're they're the the elements of Grody. Oof, <laughs> the elements of Cobalt. <laughs> Whistle, rock, and sting stone. <laughs> oh great, that means the last one's explosion. We'll get to that later. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> the fact we haven't yet is uh, reassuring. Right, so I would like to point out that I did this superstitious thing. Of... <laughs> I reloaded my roll twenty because I'm like, I this is gonna be. <laughs> Right. Uh, I I'm gonna call a potty break real quick, and uh, I think after we get this chamber done, it should be a good stopping point. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> got it. Uh, we'll do that real quick. So I'm gonna go potty real fast. I gotta go pee. And uh, do a break, and I'll be right back in like five minutes. Yep. All right. All right. Just pull me at locks. I got nine more charges of this baby. This is hilarious. This is this is very fun. I think the funniest part is Rose can't roll anything but natural ones. And dude, like I'm just gonna let you like <laughs> like I'm just gonna let you functionally wild shape because at this point I have a limited amount and you don't. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna figure something out. You know what? I'll entertain. I'll entertain what the wild shape this will do. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna stab you yep. every once in a while. I have, I have, I have a, uh, I have a, I have a limited amount of, uh, of uses of that, but I, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's more than, it's more than your wild shape uses. Yes. Well, right now my wild shape uses are down to one, and then I have something on my cloak that lets me. Uh... Yeah, I have. Yeah. So on top of Pass Without Trace, which I could do again, but I want to save my key points because I could, if it comes up, which it's probably going to, I could synergize with Boomer because I can cast Silence with key points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to uh, mute the sound of bombs. Silence. Yes. I have, um... Do you get key points back on short rest or long rest? Short, short rest. rest. Okay. That's why monks are overpowered. Brandon did say that we could, if we needed to, take a short rest. Uh, take I a have, short rest um, uh, here. So I have charm person. I have my detect thoughts still because uh, again, Willow, uh, not Willow and I. This person I took fucking telepathy. Uh, yep, I, passed I, took, telepathy. I took the skulker feet, which is kind of useless. What is it? Um. Back. <laughs> I can hide if I am lightly obscured versus being fully I guess obscured. having to be like yeah fully uh, fully obscured. covered up and then um if I miss with a range attack while I'm stealth uh, it does not break my stealth and dim light also doesn't impose disadvantage on my perception checks but we don't really do that I mean, we'll come up if we fuck up at least once. Oh, yeah. We're doing well so far. But yeah, I think I'm just going to have to be creative with my wild shapes. Yeah, I probably. Can... Just turn into a Triceratops. I, yeah. That is not the CR level that I'm able to do. <laughs> what is? Uh, One half. Ooh, uh, Poison Tree Frog. Yeah? Yeah. Seal is also uh, a monkey. I could do monkey, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I think starting at like level three, you could do giant toad, and you could eat one of. These I can birds. I can do the Mitrodon, <laughs> which is a dinosaur. That'll help. Yeah. Right. Fiend is giant spider. <sighs> Reef shark. All right. What? Reef shark. <clears throat> this uh. So uh, is everyone back and ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Also. Yep. All right. Door trapped. I'll make an investigation check. I was gonna say I slammed down a uh, quite a bit of caffeine. I thought we were going to at least two for my time. So. <laughs> like. Usually going to bed by now. We're gonna make sure up. No, I, I I wanted these to be like a bit shorter, so I tried to keep it metered to like if y'all finish these four rooms and everything, and then you know go up into the other one, it be a solid starting point for for a halfway for maybe a longer one next week, like just but gotcha. slightly longer. I didn't think any of these would take y'all a gratuitous amount of time, so. <laughs> We've right. been pretty quick with all of them so yeah. far. So the one that I thought would take the longest still did the shortest was the number two. I was like, man, fuck, okay. <laughs> sure. There was a couple of those spot the difference games that I played back I in Flash games were a thing. I literally didn't spot a single one. I didn't either. <laughs> and like they were all they were all I was like by the time I realized it was a spot the difference game, it was like, oh they've already done, okay. Yeah. No, the the spot the difference stuff, it's like I remember a couple of them that I tried that were stupid hard. Yeah. So I just enjoy puzzles. Speaking of, let's bring on the next one. Alright. Uh <clears throat> um what was the in the no that doesn't seem to be trapped. Uh definitely this definitely not it's not locked up either, so Alright. Go in. Alright. You open the door. Are there guards on the other side of the door? Uh, no. It's all of a sudden, 40 <laughs> guards. Yeah, <clears throat> they're all just standing there, like, at attention, waiting. Like, ha I knew it! Mm-hmm. Ah! Alright. <clears throat> you all quickly enter the room. Seems to be empty. Uh, this seems to be... This room is a little different. It's not like the other ones where it's like the start of a hallway. This seems to be a solitary room by itself. An enclosed hexagonal room. I guess septagonal because one of the sides of the room is the double door. Uh, okay. You see a, uh, a wizard study sort of room. There's a large floating orb in the center of the room casting a, a calm blue light across the room, so there's no darkness here. Uh, there's, paper, there's tables with papers and books and uh, stacked scrolls and just... Various accoutrements, uh, an alembic set up, all sorts of things you'd need to uh, practice magic and to do some alchemy. Uh, magic question about nerd the stuff. orb. Yes. Do I recognize anything about the orb as far as magical instruments? Make go? an arcana check. <clears throat> Fourteen. Yep. Uh, let me cast. Uh, you recognize the sphere in the room as sort of an oversized drift globe. Hmm. Um. If you if you're unaware, a drift globe is a simple magical light, it just floats by the person that's using it, and they know a command phrase to turn it on and off. 
the uh, normally they're about six inches in diameter. This one's about three feet in diameter and casts a much brighter but cool light across the whole room. <clears throat> it's uh, basically a floating LED lamp. Okay. <laughs> and it just, just it is a, it is a magical item. It's probably too big for you to carry. It's uh, a, a light, be a beach ball of light. <laughs> now, does there have to be a person nearby for it, or can it be this anchored to? This one doesn't seem to be. It just seems to be floating in the center of the room to like light the whole thing up, but not uh, be attached to anything. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, now that uh, I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. I was like, now that the, the basics of the room are out of the way, I need uh, either a perception check or an investigation check from a max of two people. Investigation check. And I, I'm going to fucking try it again. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Roll Do good. Go in. I Hell quit. yeah. Oh my god. I quit. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh 25. That's <sighs> Axel, you are mesmerized by this globe. It's so pretty and just lovely and gives off this warm light, like sunlight. And it's like, you're just sort of basking in it and uh, almost sparkling in it. Nice. <laughs> uh, Spruce, uh, you notice set into six other walls of mm -hmm. are... <clears throat> These, what I can only describe as half bird baths in the, uh, like built into the wall, with a rune above each one of them. <clears throat> now, you know some magic. Um, I'll give you three. Uh, the three of these runes are older runes denoting uh, different. Uh, schools of magic. Illusion, conjuration, and abjuration. Can't see the other three at the moment. They're blocked by the orb. Alright. Um, so... It looks like we got, uh, and, and, yeah, I did, I did just close out of everything, uh, <laughs> so I'm struggling. Oh, um, okay. so it looks like, it looks like we got to, uh, we got to do something involving schools of magic. You see, like, those three <laughs> over there are, uh, are illusion, uh, Illusion, conjuration, and abjuration. Is my, uh, I assume my, my attack magic still up. Yes. So, what can, what, what do I know that's not, uh, other than the, uh, the half bird baths, I believe, is what I understood. Yes. And the glowing orb, what else is magical in here? Um... There seems to be some minor protections on some of these books, but other than that, there doesn't seem to be anything magical. What are the uh, runes actually on? Oh, they're they're carved into the wall, like above the little bird bath sort of. It's yeah, it's like a half sconce bowl, but it's like built on a pillar that's like part of the wall. It goes up about two feet. Allow me to test something. As I step forward towards the abjuration rune. Okay. Um, Pass Without Trace, which is currently pulsing out steadily from my little matrix thing in my chest, uh, is abjuration. Yeah. <clears throat> How close so do you I'm, get? Uh, I walk up to the wall and uh, place my hand against it. You get about ten feet away before <clears throat> feel the current active magic, you all watch as, like, the shadows peel off of you with force, 
and make a small orb that floats above the little dish. And the rune in the wall glows soft blue. Well, there you go. So I'm going to cast Mage the Hand at the... I'm going to cast Mage Hand at the Conjuration one. As it gets close, uh, it gets sucked up. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make a flower and put it on the Transmutation one. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, the flower never comes Wait, didn't, to be... Wait, didn't pass without, pass without a trace, just... Need an abjuration for pass without a trace. Yeah, that's... Oh, abjuration. Conjuration. Abjuration. Yeah. Wait, no, I did Conjuration. It, it, wait, is um, it oh, illusion? Or is transmutation the... were uh, the three that you saw. the first? There, there oh, but I imagine that the... the other side of the room. Yeah, I imagine it's all the schools though. So there's only six, there... six of the eight schools. There's only six of the eight schools. Okay. Yeah. Well, so two of them are not applicable. Well, does the trans? That's so does the transmutation. What are the other three? Uh, you go around to the other side of the room, uh, make an arcana check yeah. if you want to. <laughs> You know what? I will. Spruce is feeling confident. I also will. I'm gonna take a look at any of the books that are open on the tables. See if any of them. Uh... Fourteen minus two. <laughs> well. <laughs> Net twenty. Even with a twelve, you recognize that vocation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Net twenty, you get the other, other two. Uh, necromancy and enchantment. Oh. Oh. Do we casting? I mean, cast if I just fire. is my armor not enchanted? It technically is. Uh, yes, but that's not sort of an active effect that you're channeling. It's just an effect on the armor. Mm. Um, I'll throw out a minor illusion to knock out illusion. I'll do a that's... firebolt at the. Uh... Evocation. evocation one. So, illusion, conjuration, okay. abjuration, and evocation are active. I think that's all I can, I can't cover anymore. So I don't think I can cover necromancy. So what is it? Necromancy and enchantment. Enchantment. I cast a uh, vicious mockery at the altar. Okay, for enchantment. For enchantment. All right. Now come on, you're just so plain. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, so the only thing that's left is necromancy. Can I just stand in front of it? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you stand in front of it. No, I know. It's do a... <laughs> right? right. Um, uh, necromancy. I'm not, you're looking I'm at not the books. entirely sure this is going to work, but I'll give it a go anyway. Uh, I get within 10 feet of it, I'll cast a Blood Curse of Binding. <clears throat> make me... Very strange. Uh, make me a constitution check. Sure. Constitution checks basically don't exist in this game. <laughs> Alright, this is my ability score, okay. Roll. Oh, I also have a. I do still have my inspiration. I might end up using that here. Yeah. I can make that decision after the fact. Yeah. Yeah. After you roll. Gotcha. Eighteen. Okay. No, that's uh, that's. that's I'll, I'll rock it. Uh, <clears throat> you you channel enough necrotic energy into your. Uh, the the blood curse does not activate. You watch this small. Sanguine orb hovers over the the upper and turns. <laughs> yeah. Do I Ooh. recognize that as a blood hunter thing, or would I have no idea? Mm, make a make an arcana check or oh, a boy, history I check. <laughs> I mean, they're both plus zero, so okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, you you would know some some about blood. Okay. You had to deal with a few of them in the past. <laughs> Thought you were something else. Yeah. Do 
You do, you do know that. Um, as for, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, uh, there are some scrolls on the uh, tables and everything, but you managed to uh, light all of them uh, <laughs> without the uh, assistance of the. Oh, that's well. funny. <laughs> That's good. No, I was covering my bases and I put one for each of the things there. If you could like, have a yeah. search or detect Can I steal weapon. the scrolls? I was just going to ask, are the scrolls like spell scrolls or... They're all... Yeah, they're spell scrolls. They're all cantrips. Uh, the necromancy one is oh, to okay. kill the dead. I mean, I'll, I'll take yeah. a few. <laughs> I don't need any more cantrips. Open up one of the bags I'm carrying. It's like, here, put them in here. It's a bag of holding. All right. I guess I'll do it. While they're doing that, I'll do a quick perusal of any books related to uh, monsters, beasts, and any of the such. <sighs> oh, there's lots of things in magical monsters, or ma magical creatures, monsters, uh, strange If fey. we want to search this room for an extended period of time, shall we take a brief respite? <laughs> Certainly can. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, honestly, it's quite pretty in here. Sure. It's certainly peaceful. Yeah, you all sit down. Um, the door is lockable from the inside here. You all take a uh, take a short rest, and I think that's a good good stopping point. Made some fantastic progress. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> next week, I think, will be a little bit more exciting. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, as for next week, because uh, I'll, I'll just do this now, because uh, <clears throat> I realized something uh, Friday night <laughs> that uh, next week is Easter. It is indeed. Um, I'm going to be in San Antonio on Saturday, but I will be back on Sunday. Don't know if that ruins anybody's plans to uh, be able to do stuff. And if so, we can continue here and get a little bit further. Uh, just to shorten that the Sunday, but if not, we'll have to do something else. Let me go take a look at my calendar. Didn't didn't realize it was Easter next week until you literally yesterday. <laughs> and I, went, uh, I don't think so. Again, I have that. She was supposed to contact me on Friday, but I think she got busy, so I don't know what's we, going on uh, with that. Stop streaming while we talk about the. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah we should do, we should definitely not voice our 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 schedules on no. the internet. Um, but before we <laughs> stop streaming, uh. Did, did we get the key from room number three? Yes. He, All right. Uh, uh, Spruce would take that. He appears <laughs> from the orb. But, uh, yeah, if you think that we could do it, I'll just say we can continue to do another room. We can do room five. If y'all think that'll help with... I mean, my Sunday wouldn't impact me at all. So, yeah, yeah, Sunday wouldn't hurt me either. Don't see there being any problem for me. I, I really don't. Yeah, see we don't really do anything well. for Easter. Yeah. I'm only busy until probably later in the evening. Okay. So I, mean, so I would say like 5 o'clock onwards my time. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, we could start early if yeah. people have things to do Monday. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really have anything to do but, now. Yeah, if you all want to start like yeah. an hour early on Sunday and then finish this up. For me, y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all want to just finish uh, room five because uh, while we're here, before we get off, are y'all tired? I'm kind of tired. Okay. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, yeah. well, then uh, we'll wrap up here, guys, and uh, continue next next week on a uh, Sunday and uh, get this uh, get this heist finished. They have three keys and the. Vault door unlocked. I was surprised. The, 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 um, the room in question for number four, like the, the, the base genie. door, 
you could have been like, let me think on that and moved forward. Uh, but then wouldn't have access to the vault, so I'm glad y'all figured that out. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue this next week. I'm excited to get to the conclusion because y'all have been rocking it so far. Uh, the party yeah. starts after a, a short rest. I'm ready for something to go terribly wrong. The wells like, are going to be Yeah, old. like, I want it to, honestly. <laughs> Either my rolls are going to improve or I'm going to keep going the way I have been, and if that's the case, I, man, I'm just, I'm I'm just waiting for an excuse to do the silence bomb combo. That's going to be horrific, and I love, I love and hate the idea of it. I'm, I'm I mean, saving... that, could be, that could be how we leave. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saving the one thing one I can fly with open. for, uh, just in case. Yeah, that's true. Alrighty. I hope you all had as much fun as I did, and, uh, I'll catch y'all later. Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.